Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to sunny Tampa, Florida. We are in the Yingling Center tonight, built in 1980, but we're bringing it to you in 2022 for the Creator Clash, where all of your favorite content creators will be settling their differences, not with a camera, but in the ring with gloves on. Folks, I cannot wait to see these creators go at it. This is the Creator Clash live from the Yingling Center. I am your host, Wade Plymouth from The Wade Concept. To my right, I have one of the most recognizable men, to not only to this crowd here, but to you at home, Moist Critical. I'm super excited to be here. This is probably the first time I've worn a suit since prom, and I couldn't imagine a better environment to be here to wear this, break this bad boy out. I mainly know slap fighting, but I'm super excited to be baptized when it comes to boxing. I'm hoping to see some knockouts. We have some, like, actual killers here today. I think it's going to be super exciting. So am I. And someone that knows a little bit about knockouts. Faze Sensei is here with us as well. Who's everybody? I'm excited to see some YouTube boxing. These guys have been training hard. I've been watching their shadow box and move around. So looking to see them get it in the action in the ring um, and see where they they land in the YouTube boxing uh, scene. But also thank you to the Creator Clash. They're donating some money to our Turkey Brigade. Um, our martial arts school gives out hundreds of Thanksgiving dinners every year. So a big thank you to the Creator Clash for that. Folks, not only is it us three with your with you here tonight. But I have with me S Fans TV, leader of the OTK gang. And also, we have Chills Ringside. He's usually a horror YouTuber, but tonight he will be bringing you live in person interviews. I cannot wait to see what's next. And speaking of what's next, folks, we have nine fights on this card for you tonight, starting with Dad versus Matt Watson, followed by Ryan McGee, also of Super Mega versus Alex Ernst. Internet comment etiquette with Eric versus DJ Welsh. I did a thing versus the odds one out. Our first female content creator boxing match in the scene, Yodeling Haley versus Just a Minx. And also folks, we have Hundar from Muscle Party versus AB of the H3 podcast. Bram Steffen versus Michael Reeves. Aaron Hansen versus Harley of Epic Meal Time. And in your main event of the evening, I Dubs versus Dr. Mike. That is right, folks. We are here at Creator Clash. And folks, if you didn't know, this is a charity event. And of course, we are working with associations, as you can see, the Alzheimer's Association, the American Heart Association, and the Healing Horse Therapy Center. Folks, tonight's rules, we have a three knockdown rule in the state of Florida, no standing aids, the bouts are five rounds of two minutes each with the main event being four rounds of three minutes each. This is a sanctioned event by the Florida State Athletic Commission. And as you see, folks, our first fight of the night, we have two of your favorite creators, Matt Watson versus Dad. As you can see, tail of the tape, 26 years old, Matt Watson, 6'2", 156 pounds, out of Charleston, South Carolina. Dad, 41 years of age. Height at six feet, weight at 58 pounds, out of town, USA. Uh, Charlie, talk to me. What are we seeing here? Well, Matt Watson's got that crack pipe energy. He's been hitting that for years now. That shit doesn't stop. He's coming out with like legitimate psychopath energy. So even though dad might have a couple years his senior and maybe a little uh, a little more weight advantage, I still think Matt Watson's got that X factor that just might be like a feral animal out there. Crack pipe energy, there's nothing like it. Now, Sensei, dad is actually a humanoid bot. Does his age actually affect him? Uh, you would think so, but he looks in pretty damn good shape. I saw him warming up and I saw him in the weigh-ins. He looks pretty shredded for his age, and I know he's a fan of boxing, so I'm excited to see what Dad does. I know he's 41 and he's got that look going on, but I'm looking forward to see how he does. And as we see, folks, Matt Watson with a daddy tattoo. It's looking pretty good on him, too. He's looking like a serial killer right now. And as you can see on his left arm, he has a floppy disk. He's going to try to cut, paste, and delete Dad as he holds him in his arms. Folks, last night we had our official press conference and weigh-in. Matt Watson, a crowd favorite, took the stage, and the crowd was behind him as he weighed in. You see him flexing the muscles, and Dad got in on the action. I'm not exactly sure what that what that actually was. Hair. It's just scary. I mean, it's just scary is what it is. <laughs> it's horrifying. Ready? I am. I'm more than ready. I'm the most ready I've ever been. So what what is the biggest obstacle that you've had getting ready to fight Dan? Well, you know, finding such an elderly person has been an obstacle because I've, you know, had to look up how to make sure not to really break all his bones. Um, 
and also just uh, trying to be cooler than him every step of the way. It's pretty pretty easy because he's old. He's a boomer. He doesn't understand YouTube or anything. So I, I see you've got some of this. Uh, you, you've made some some big changes. Right? See, you've made some big physical changes uh, under the skin, on top of the skin. Do you want to uh, explain this a little bit for us? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I, I started. I was 139, and I put on about 20 pounds of muscle for this event. Um, and then, of course, you know the the tattoos. I had to I had to get those. Actually, it might look like I got this for my opponent, but I actually got this from my father. Rest in peace. This is for him. So. Well, great. Thank you so much. Good luck. And folks, there he is. Matt Watson, that's a blow up doll in his hands, but he's trying to blow up the scene as he enters. This roof is about to come off the place, and we're just at the first fight of the night. Oh, yeah, the crowd is absolutely on Watson's side. Oh. He just steps on Dad. Oh, my goodness, this is bad mannered. Oh, my Lord. I thought we were going to save the violence till we got in the ring, but already some stomping from Matt Watson. Sensei, you see the walk in. Yep. You're seeing the build of Matt Watson. He said he put on 20 pounds of muscle. I don't know how legitimate he, that is, um, but he's got long arms. He's got a good boxing body. I'll tell you, that reach is going to be a problem. I was going to say, the crowd is loving whatever muscle he's put on. He's got people painted up in the crowd. And folks, as you can see, his opponent, Dad, is getting ready. And I'm telling you this right now, he is not only a humanoid bot, but he is someone looking to take the head off of Matt Watson. Dad belongs in this YouTuber boxing event because Dad is the best YouTuber in the universes. And soon, I'll be the best boxer in the universes. After all, I do have the quantum fist. That's why I'll be the one to take on Matt Watson. So prepare yourself, Matt, for super mega <laughs> pain. Yeah, I am very scared of pain. <laughs> Nathan, Nathan Barnett. Just a little soft announcement that I will be boxing Matt Watson from Super Mega. I've been training a lot, major, major training. I'm about to go into my fight camp, which is going to be five days, two hours each day, 10 hours of boxing for eight weeks or more. It's going to be intense. Here's the deal. If I'm in this fight and people can see these tattoos, it's like, oh, this guy loves boxing. He's got a boxing anime tattooed on his body. If I lose, I look like the biggest idiot. <laughs> it's like, oh, this guy just watches anime, doesn't actually train. Well, it's not gonna happen. I can't look like an idiot. Look at me. I already look like an idiot. It's not gonna happen twice. Dad, we're very, very excited to have you here. You've been training as hard as you have ever in your whole life. You, you're a literal machine ready to kill Matt Watson. How do you feel? I feel ready to obliterate. Dad bought negative two, has been programmed for this moment. I will not stop punching. Never stop punching. Now, is, that your, uh, is this your wife, Scarlett, that you have tattooed on your chest here? No, this is a very dear woman who passed away last year, and she's fueling me. I love you, Siobhan, I miss you. And I'm doing this for you. Very good, very good. He's internally motivated, he's, uh, he's on fire, and we're very, very excited to have you. Let's do it.
And folks, here he is. Dad flanked by all the members of his crew, John Morrison, pro wrestler in this area, former WWE superstar in his corner, but Dad is going wild. Folks, the intensity in the room just shifted. Charlie, what are you seeing from Dad on this walk-in? Well, I'm just worried he's gonna hurt himself on the way in, but he is throwing his body in all kinds of ways. I don't think the human body was meant to move. I can definitely agree. Sensei, you're seeing the fitness level here. Yes. With all of that energy, what are you seeing from, as he gets in the face he of is Matt Watson? very intense, very emotional right now. We just hope that doesn't affect him negatively, right? He's gotta hone it in and relax. You know, this moment he's slowly hit right this now. This is a lot of canvas. energy being used in this he is moment. Emotional. Yeah. So, but we'll see. This may also benefit him. This may be an early, you know, stoppage, he's right? Or an impact. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for your not without a creative match. Our first match is a five round, two minute each in the middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting in the red corner. He stands six feet two inches tall and weighs 156.8 pounds from Charleston, South Carolina. He's a former Markiplier and Game Brumps employee and one half of the comedy duo Super Mega. Ladies and gentlemen, Matt Watson. And his opponent, fighting in the blue corner. He stands six foot tall and weighs 158.82 pounds. From Town, USA, he's the greatest pop star, dancer, DJ, boxer, and YouTuber in all the universe. He's programmed to obey the server and control all of YouTube. Introducing All right, folks, we are getting set to go here. Round number one, again, brought to you by Fansley, our referee, Andrew Glenn. Both fighters are ready. Red blue. corner, blue corner set to go. Do not Round blink. Round one. Do not blink. It could get intense very quickly. That is already on a million. Our judges for the bout tonight, Tito will go, Efren LeBron, and Michael Ross. Round one, let's get it. Let's see if Matt can weather this storm. Oh, big big shot going Dad in. coming out already, oh, folks. He's going out. forward. He's vanishing into this shadow right oh, there. Oh, oh, Dad. Left hook. He's trying That's to take back half of the Another one. left hook. Dad, but it's just set to kill. Oh, big oh, left oh. hook. He's, He's wobbled him. Matt turned. Oh, oh. His, his, his eyes are rolling in the back of his head. This is it. That's oh, over. It's over. It's over. Early stoppage. Oh, my God. That was the fastest speed run I've seen in boxing. Was that a Was that a three-second round? That was in. Insane! You called it, Sensei, yes. right out of the gate. You said, hold on tight, folks. And Dad just sunned Matt Watson in this ring. Huge shots, back to back. I don't think Dad even got hit, not a single time. Not that once. That was pure fury. The offense was unstoppable. Unbelievable, the fury that Dad just unleashed on Matt Watson. Now, I Look shook at these shots. I shook Dad's hand last night. He has lunchbox to his hand. Look at this lunchbox land right here. Bang! And look at this, folks. We're getting a trophy presentation in the ring from Dad's team. He is the one that serves the server. He is the champion of this fight. And again, folks, is. look at that left hand. The left hand. Continuous, and Matt had no answer. He was trying Just to fight him with the oh, lead hand. So it was 22 seconds. 22 seconds. Second KO. fight. The left hands proved to be too much. We didn't even get to see much of the stance. <laughs> Dad Bob came out southpaw and absolutely destroyed. How he said that dad strength came into play. It did. Yes, that it absolutely, absolutely did. Into play. And I'm not exactly sure what that was, but he's he's very excited, and he will be with chills as we get this interview going for Dad. This way? All right. Dad, congratulations. I don't think anybody expected that fight to be that quick. What is going through your mind right now? Well, Dad prepared very hard. I'm a good dad. 
I like a good plan. So I did my chores, and my chores involved obliterating every sparring opponent I've had the past six months. And if new Matt would not be a challenge, after I took down Alpha, I destroyed Alpha in training. So I figured if I could destroy an Alpha bot, I could destroy a Matt Watson. So you talked about training 10 hours a day. What specific part of your training do you think allowed you to get this quick victory? Uh, my cardio, these guys, Josh and Mike, my coaches, they were really, really adamant about cardio. And I, I've done 10 hour nonstop dance live streams this summer in June on dad's Twitch. I'm going for 10 hours, not 12 hours nonstop dancing. And I think that is what helped me get through. Never stop moving, never stop winning. Dad, are we going to see you in another boxing match? You sure will see, Dad. I'm ready to go, literally, right now. Nexpo, Nexpo, can you hear me? Matt Pat, Oliver Tree, Sive, can you hear me? Dad Bot will take down. God, the man is going ultimate warrior on the ropes right now. Listen, he deserves every bit of this. He deserves every bit of it. Impressive win, impressive. He came on so fast. I knew he was in shape. I didn't know how fast he was. Explosive, he got power. We don't want any of that. Look at this left hand, guys. Bang! Oh. Oh. On the chin. That's I, the lunchbox you were talking about. I saw Matt Watson's eyes roll into the back of his head right after that one. I knew it was just Ooh, a matter right of time. Hand, right Another one behind Bang. it. It's unfortunate for Matt being from Super Mega because he ate Super Mega punches in that fight. Wow, I mean, I know we expected massive performances. I know we expected big time performances, but I don't know if any in this sold out 10,000 person arena expected that. No, I don't think so. And I don't think many people know dad's history. He's always done a ton of stunts. He's always done a lot of dances, so he's in great shape. He, I expected this to go a few rounds where he's taking punishment, showing his chin, but he just closed it out in a hurry. Well, folks, as you see, Dad victorious as he leaves the arena setting. Again, he deserves every single bit of that, but folks, that's not all. We're just getting started here. Oh, boy. And as you can see, listen, one half of Super Mega could not get it done, but Ryan McGee is going to try to step in and save the brand, but he's doing so against Alex Ernst. Fellas, tell me what you're seeing. Charlie, we'll start with you with this tale of the tape. Well, if you just look at the stats here, you'd see it's a little in favor of Alex Ernst, just Alex Ernst just by the numbers. But I also saw Alex's training video. He just wants to hurt people. He actually just wants to take someone's skull right out of it, right off their shoulders. Absolutely. And we saw the weigh-ins yesterday, Sensei. You saw Ryan McGee. He's a little thicker. Yes. Versus, again, a little bit more of a slender frame here from Alex Ernst. Again, just kind of what do you expect going into this? Yet, when you look at him, but you see here on the tail of the tape, 187 to 181. And I saw Alex uh, making the ring walk and in the, in the ring earlier. He looks like he's all business. This is not a game to him. You saw him hit the bag. He looks intense. I expect uh, him to do pretty well in this one. I agree. And folks, not only is this our second fight of the night, but both men have been training super hard for this fight. Everyone on the card, almost a year of training. And again, in front of 10,000 sold outs, we have our next one. You see Ryan McGee getting warmed up for his fight. Absolute haymakers being thrown in these backstage segments. And not only that, we also have Ryan McGee from the weigh-ins last night. This is what we were talking about. He does look a bit broad-shouldered, a bit thicker. And we see the face off the intensity in the eyes of Alex Ernst, something yes. you were talking about. Look at that face, guys. This is something that is going to be damaging. Ryan, we're very excited to have you out here. You've obviously made a huge, huge physical transformation getting ready for this fight. How, how, much, how, much, how much weight did you recompose? Uh, about, I lost about 30 pounds, but... It's supposed to ask about weight. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I didn't mean to. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. 
You lost a little bit of weight? Okay. Well, anyway, look, we're going to we're gonna need you to go out there, and you're going to have to go out there and, and, and really put on for Super Mega. You're going to do that for us? Yes. I'm confident I will. Okay. There you go. Good luck, man. And you hear the crowd rising once again, folks. Is that an Iron Giant tattoo? I'm not sure what kind. It's a like I have a, no idea. a seashell kind of thing. I think that's the Iron Giant with a moon in the background. It, I'm not exactly sure. You might be right. That looks like exactly what that is. But listen, he's going to have to be an Iron Giant in this fight. And you hear the crowd come alive. Nope. He has to redeem Super Mega here. And folks, take in this scene because this crowd is in love with Ryan McGee. And like we said, folks, the crowd is fully behind Ryan McGee. It's almost at this point, you are fighting for the honor of, of your brother at this point. You're fighting for the honor of your channel. It's this a is of... desperation time for Super Mega, and the arrow pointing to Ryan McGee's face is only looking like a target for him to get hit. I have to imagine he's feeling like he needs to go out here and prove a point for all Super Mega fans, so he's got that, he's got a buff right That's now. That's a lot of pressure. It's a lot. That's a lot of pressure. You now, know, you Sensei, when you take a look, he's sitting right here in front of us. What are you seeing from him? Does this guy look like a man that's ready to go into battle. I did I did see a little nerves there, a little nerves in that interview, and um, based on Alex, how focused he is, he does look a little nervous, so we'll see him, see if he locks it in here. And again, this isn't any sort of sparring session. This isn't anything that you're doing behind closed doors. You listen to that reaction. This is super mega town. And now we see his opponent, Alex Ernst. And I'm telling you, Sensei, those shots aren't to play nice. I'm Alex Ernst. I'm gonna fight a guy by the name of Ryan McGee. Now, I have no problem with this young man. I, he seems very nice, but uh, we're gonna fight. And I've been training. I've been training really hard. Excited, and I'm ready. Alex, we're very, very excited to have you out here, man. Ryan's getting ready. He's out there already. He's going to come out with a conviction. How do you feel? You know he's going to be serious about this. I'm serious too. I'm ready. What is uh, what is the main thing that you're going to need to do whenever you go out there to fight against Ryan? Well, I'm going to need a fight. Just give him a fight. Give him a fight. Full go, full effort. Well, good luck, man. Thank go you. Kick some ass. Thank you. And folks, Ryan has a fan base here of his own. Every single fight walk, you're going to hear massive reaction. He's focused, he's ready. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Alex Ernst. What I don't see, and I think they're a little further behind, but again, just the, the scenery of Alex walking in by himself, the corner not necessarily yes. with him. It does look like a man, a one-man mission here. It really looks like he's coming out here super determined. He, he, like his eyes just look like there's a lot of malice behind them. He looks evil right now. He had his mouthpiece in during the interview. Oh, he yeah. just wants to fight right now. I'm telling you this, the mood has changed in this arena. Cruiserweight division. Introducing first, fighting in the red corner. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall and weighs 181.2 pounds from Columbia, South Carolina. He's the cutest member of the comedy duo Super Mega. He's a former employee of Markiplier and he quit vaping for this match. Ladies and gentlemen, Ryan Rhino Hazard McGee!
and his opponent. Fighting in the blue corner, he stands 6 feet 2 inches tall, and he weighs 187.2 pounds from Belle Plaine, Minnesota. He's a master filmmaker. He's a musician and stuntman. He used to package meat at his father's butcher shop. He also removed rocks from fields from farmers to tilt soil. Introducing Alex Ernst. And again, folks, the energy in this room is palpable. Both men meet in the center. Charlie, tell me what you're seeing from this face-off here when they lock eyes. Oh, Alex hasn't stopped locking eyes with him. And he is staring right into his soul right now. The entire time they were doing the intro, Alex was locked in, staring Dead. right through Ryan. Ryan seems to have made that uh, switch. He's flipped the switch. He looks ready. Here we go. Round one, Ryan McGee, Alex Ernst. The crowd Let's is go. alive. The, the crowd, crowd is, is alive. absolutely electric. Here we go. They're both Big nice jab, jab right away. Road. Ryan. Going in. Ryan right hand to the body. I think that might have woke up Alex just a little bit. Yes. Big swing and a miss. Ooh, right hand from right Alex hand Ernst. Handed. Another oh, right hand from Alex Ernst. How many can he eat? Big jab. We are swinging for the absolute bleachers right now. We're not seeing any kind of defense right now. This is just full throttle. No setup. No patience. We are just getting to the action. And now it looks like Ryan wants to slow things down just a bit. Pops the jab as Alex comes in. That jab is his best friend, Ryan. Right, he needs to keep using that. Right that hand right again. Hand is, he's finding a home for Double that Double jab. Alex is throwing frying pans out there. Absolutely swinging. Ryan complains back of the head shot. Referee acknowledges that. Now we settle down just a bit. Big right hand over the top right just misses. But we find out Ryan is game. We found out And you're seeing a little game. bit of a push jab here from Ryan. You're seeing that sensei. Now we switch southpaw a bit and go back orthodox. I don't think that'll help him out. Be I don't. A lot of energy Alex being used. Right. Nice sticking jab there from Alex. Right oh, hand down the pipe. Clean right shot. Nice jab again from He's Ryan. He's getting a little wobbly. Once you see Ryan acknowledge that right hand and get a little angry, let's see if we see him move forward off of that. You can start to fight emotionally, and that can be a benefit, or Alex that can be your undoing. He's wide open. Yeah. He's a little tight. He's a lot of hard Both punches. guys. Look at Ryan taking in deep breaths as well. I think this is what we're going to see. Rubber meet the road here, folks. You're seeing some redness, a little swelling here, a little shiner from Ryan. Yep. In that right hand landing. That's some redness, too, on Alex. A lot of that fury that we saw in the first part of this round starting to slow a bit. Nice right hand stepping in from Ryan. Oh. Both guys trade jabs. Hated jabs. That was a great Heavy shot. Double jab from Ryan. Out and again we trade. Last 10 seconds. Who's going to take this round? We're seeing a lot of damage on both fighters right now. Ryan's, yep. There it is. Round one. Ryan's got a great swollen round. left eye right there. Alex as well. Now, when we watched that round, we saw a lot of action to start. Yes. Sensei, as we move through, who are you seeing with the edge in that first round? Bo both guys are landing the jab. We got a replay here. Big right hand Huge landed. It right did hand land on there. the back of the head, but Ryan had turned on that one. Again, he was turning, but that yep. right hand would find a home for that one. But Ryan was landing that jab. These guys were traded jabs, but I think because Alex was landing that right hand, um, I think he sold the round there. Beautiful job by Ryan. Charlie, what are you thinking about that first round, and who in your eyes is taking that one? So right now, I'm really impressed with Ryan's tenacity. I did not expect to see that come out from him. He was made, he has a very strong chin. He ate a lot, of sh a lot of shots and a lot of answers at the same time. You can look at the stats right here. I think it's a really great display for both fighters, and I actually think Ryan might have a little bit of an advantage. Something we didn't see in that first round. We did not see a lot of clinching. Let's see if in the second round, with the gas tanks Look. depleted, Correct. we see that. Round two. As the fatigue sets in. Ryan looking to move just a little bit more here. A little bit in and out movement we see here. Big oh, right hand big from right Alex. Landed. The jab, Alex is passing out the jab this round. And look Ryan, at that. Ryan's Ryan. got a chin on him. Yeah, this Absolutely. is all Alex right now, though. Now we're going to find out who's the Look at the officer. right hand. Beautiful look right Look at the hand. jab. Now as the fatigue sets in and good relax, we're going to find a jab from big Ryan. Big and again, you see that stepping in push jab from Ryan. It's he's successful, but it puts him in danger. It. Correct. That right there is where it puts him in danger. Barely misses with the right hand as Alex. Right now, Ryan's game plan is eat a ton of shots and then throw meat. <laughs> what we're seeing <laughs> is, again, two guys that really want to win this fight and are proving it here on Creator Ryan Flash. is loading that right hand. Yeah. Oh, oh, big oh, right hand oh, Alex right and it stumbles hurt. Ryan. He's hurt. Jab from Big Alex. Jab. He's still taking oh, shots. Oh, both great jabs. Shots. We are throwing. Alex is, Alex is landing right the bigger shots right now. Sensei, Ryan both guys bleeding. are trading. 
but Alex is landing the bigger shots. Yes, that was a big shot, but Ryan is still there. He still has the respect from Alex. He still has his respect because he's throwing back shots. Alex is a beautiful jab, jab right he's there from Alex, but I'm telling you right now, folks, that energy we use in the first round, it is on display because both men are gassing very quickly. Who is going to have the heart to keep up this pace? Who's going to have the heart to go through five rounds in this oh, ring and get, uh -oh, get Ryan there? Turns his back. Can't turn your back. It looks like Ryan's got a busted nose out there, but he is still fighting with so much heart. And right you have now. to commend that heart from Ryan, but what you have to run into at some point is technique and skill. And Ryan, when he throws that push jab, anything he throws with the right hand, he's leaving himself open for yeah, a big time open. counter. He's loading that right hand. Ryan is loading it. He's dropping it. He's going to his back here. pocket. Big jab. Big jab. That one hurt Alex. Big jab. Alex comes back with the right hand. We are swinging hammers, folks. Oh, Double jab. jab. There's wow. the end of the round. Wow. What an incredibly hard-fought round from Ryan there. Taking a busted nose, fighting through it. I feel like they believe the best defense is a good offense. I'm not yes. seeing any kind of, like, protection. When there's a shot being thrown, they're answering with a shot of their own. Absolutely, and both men are wearing this. Doctor is checking on Ryan. Checking on Ryan McGee, round three. You heard Alex's corner say, listen, we had something fall in the corner. Get, Referee's going to take a look at that. Wait, wait. You heard Alex's corner say, follow up that one, two, after he throws that big right yes. hand. Yes. He's leaving himself open like we talked about. For, I think Alex should straighten his right instead of coming over with the hook. Yeah. He might find a home if he straightens it up. Again, we're trading jabs to start oh, around. Big jab by Ryan. Switch and time. Switch stance, overhand right. Oh, oh they got swinging for the fences. Big one. Like you said, he straightens that out, and that might find a home. These guys are just training job. You're not seeing any jab. feints, no feints. No, just, no they're setups. just throwing shots. Throwing. Again, Ryan switches stances to try to throw that big push right hand jab. Right now, this is a fight between two guys that want to hurt each other. Oh, Absolutely, yeah. and at this point, it's a fight of attrition as well. Because Absolutely. we are past the point of exhaustion. Both men are running on pure will to win. No steam in the tank, and they are continuing to fight, folks. What more do you want? Out of your favorite creators than this kind of action when we see double jabs once again. The crowd is the crowd is picking up here. The crowd's coming alive. Less than oh, a minute in round three. Training those, those jabs. The lead hand has been the weapon of choice. And like we talked about in between rounds, Ryan was taking a ton of punishment in round two. Alex continuing to pepper that jab. He's wearing it. And if we go into the end of round three here, yeah. and this doesn't change, the doctor's going to come look again with the Take, right hand left. He straightened it. That was straight. Straight right oh, hand. He's oh, starting to take big time it. shots. Yep. Oh, oh, the devil right, right, right hand. Oh, right 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 down the pipe. He's finding it. He's Double finding jab. It. Right hand behind him. Oh, oh, no. Ryan's trying. He's, still he's still trying there. to stay in there, but again, he's turning his back. You do not want to see that out of your fighter, and the Correct. referee and the doctor are going to take a look at that in between rounds if we make it there. He's got last it. 10 Traded seconds, jabs. folks. Straight at jabs. They are swinging for the bleachers. The Alex last, coming forward. Last 10 seconds. Ryan's making a push, maybe. Here comes Ryan once again. They back off. Oh. There oh, is wow. the end of the round. We're going to take a look in on the doctor here and see exactly what they tell Ryan or what they're saying to his team because at the end of that round, it was punishment central. I mean, look at some of these shots that are landing flush right here, guys. The jab, that right, right hand through the guard. Kept it straight that time. Absolutely. Man. You called Man, that Ryan's straight through the guard. Right back. And the thing that you never want to see is what we see Ryan do toward the end of the round. He gets caught with a punch and he turns his back on Yes. Him. Yeah, that's and very dangerous as well. You don't very dangerous. The referee ahead. sees that and he's not going to take that too many times. Again, commending Ryan for staying in this is absolutely one thing. He has battled his way through this fight, but he cannot continue to take double jab right hands. I mean, we're looking right now to see the yes. jabs are absolutely landing in Alex's favor. The total punches in Alex's favor. The power shots in Alex's favor. Correct. How many more of these can Ryan take? I feel like the first, 
first guy oh. to use a feint is going to land something big. And, is another, and we're right back, right back to the jab. jab. Ryan lands a big one, I though. I was going to say, Ryan is landing the jab, though. You the jab is that this. push jab. It's Bang. Alex. Alex's mouth is wide open. And now we see some feints. Yes. A little bit here from Ryan. Now we see one from Alex as well. Right, right hand, hand over landed, the top. Right on the ear. Having some success oh, right here. Oh, the right hand from Alex. And he's wobbly. His gloves touched. That is going to be a That's knockdown. That's going to be a knockdown. Here is the count. Alex has got to get to a neutral corner. He's just kind of standing there. Referee's not going to count until we get to a corner. Referee takes the gloves. All right, we're back at it. I don't. I'm how looking at Ryan Ryan's recover? face right now. I don't know here. how much more he wants to be in here. He's staying in it. Alex is quite fatigued. But as Alex well. is also on his last legs. One minute and change left here. Round number four. A jab from Ryan. I'm getting the feeling Ryan's feeling like an anime protagonist right now. He's eaten so many shots. And just, oh, oh, big God. right hand. Alex now looking for the finish. Oh. Ryan trying to swing Ryan his way out of it, though. Back. Ryan's got heart. Look at this heart on display from Ryan McGee. We said he needed Almost to represent. second win there. Super mega on a level we didn't see in the first fight, and he's absolutely doing that, folks. That's the second time we've seen Ooh, Ryan do right that. Hand. Right hand. Another combination four points. Here comes five, Alex. Six, he's on the rope, and Ryan comes back. A great back. response from Ryan. Unbelievable. You want to talk about a war no here quit. on Greater Clash. No quit in either man. No quit. Big right hand just misses, but oh. that one does it. And down goes Ryan McGee. Alex Ertz with a huge right hand. Oh, my God. He is Referee is giving the count. We're at five. I don't know how Ryan he comes back it? from that. Does he make it? He says walk to that corner. Referee's taking a good, hard look. And here oh, we go. Here we go. Oh, it's yes. not done yet, folks. Oh my God, Ryan is a warrior. So here comes here. Alex. He's firing off. Alex looking for the finish. Looking Just for a the few finish. seconds Ryan's remaining. To put it away. Can he There's a jab, the and that is the round. That is the round. So oh, the round. saved by the bell. Oh wow, incredible. Doctor's taking a good look here again yes. once at Ryan. Guys, talk me through that last round again. Ryan showing part that you can only say is three sizes too big right now. I, I started to feel like Ryan's own father right there. I was ready to charge in there, be like, get away from him. Ooh, that right, right hand oh. drops him from Alex. Again, we'll take a look. Really high. One, Hands two, down. and he absolutely Ooh. ate every bit of that punch. The jab, right hand behind it, landed almost on the back of the ear yes. again. And yes. you saw the equilibrium start to go a little bit earlier in the fight. Definitely. This has been a shot that's been a favorite of Alex's, and Ryan just cannot see the Alex it out. is tired, though, so if Ryan can survive, it can be kind of discouraging that you're not finishing the guy. So we'll see what happens right here. Here we go. Again, you see some Alex, of the landing Alex from Alex fatigued. consistent. Both men fatigued. Alex, again, popping the jab as we start the round. The fifth and final round of this matchup. Oh, and Ryan here. is coming wobbly. back, but Alex is swinging. Big Ryan's jab got his Ryan. Swing again, though. Big right hand. Alex oh, comes back. Right back and forth oh, we go. The jab the wobbled him. He's Ryan wobbling. gets wobbled by oh. a jab. And Sensei, if you're in Ryan's corner to win this fight at this point, you're going to need the knockout. You're going yes. to need a stoppage at this point because it has been brutal in the last few rounds for Ryan. Knocked down two 10, 10 counts, standing eights. And we're jab right hand once again. He's calling from the back of the head. The problem is, though, Ryan is turning with He's that turning, shot. Yeah. Correct. So it's not necessarily Alex to pop him in the back of the head. It's more of a shot around the ear. Bike right hand now. Oh, right hand. He's standing so. Ryan Big right hand. Ryan. Ryan's answering. But Alex comes back. He is fighting through. I mean, He's fighting. Wobbly legs. Guys, we are walking no right legs. through punches. That's our first clinch. Good clinch. You want to talk about a oh fire fight. These, these two are lighting the arena on fire right Alex now. Is Alex is gassed. They yes. touch up. I mean, you have That's to respect. at this point. Respect from both gentlemen. Less than a minute. Ryan needs a stoppage to win this fight, but in my eyes, he's Ryan, done so much Ryan's in this fight. Ryan's cardio is impressive because in, he's taking a lot of And look of at this. He's starting to rally. This. Big right hand from Big Alex right again, hand. though. Trader right hands. The trader rights. Oh, Ryan he charged that one up a Looney Tunes style. Right. Oh, my goodness. Oh. And Ryan kind of takes a stroll around the ring, and they meet once again. The jab stumbles, and he's switching stance. Every last thing is being put on the line for you folks at home. I hope you're oh, seeing right. this. Last 15 seconds. Wow. The crowd is Alex cheering on Ryan. Fades right back. Now. Ryan fades back. 10 seconds. They don't want to engage. We need to finish this one, boys. Big jab. Another one from both. 
We are gonna go to the wire, oh. and that is our fight. Woo. Incredible. They left wow. it all in there, left everything in the ring, everything. That was from the soul from Ryan there. He dug deep. I, I have no other words than to say this was a war. Absolutely. And unfortunately on Ryan's end, he took the brunt of those punches. Alex landed some of the biggest shots in yes. the fight, but you have to commend the heart of Ryan. He got knocked down twice, and one of them, his legs went, and he went. was taking heavy shots, and he was still, almost every time he got hit hard, you could see him get frustrated, and that this, he got some will. He got a lot of heart, man. And again, you want to talk about heart, yes, we commend Ryan, but Alex continuing to step on that gas pedal, continuing to move forward, continuing to land, Big time right hands. Gentlemen, we just we just witnessed two fights back yes. to back. Incredible. That would put any fight on any creator card to shame that I've seen in my time. Wow. And I think that speaks to the training. They had a lot more time to prepare for this, somewhere in the ballpark of six to nine months. Yeah. So you can really see that come out, especially yeah. when it comes to the cardio. Ryan went the distance, even getting knocked down twice. Yeah. Impressive. Both men should be proud of their performance tonight. Um, like I was saying, it's just unbelievable the amount of effort was put into every single shot from both guys. The setups maybe weren't there. The right. technique maybe did go, but you know what didn't? Their will to win, their will to continue fighting, and it looks like right now we're going to get our official decision. A round of applause to both fighters. It's time to score this bout. They went the distance. Give it up for our fighters, everybody. The judges scored the card as follows. The winner of this match, by unanimous decision, Alex Ernst. Listen, a hard-fought victory there for Alex. A hard-fought victory. It looks like we're gonna have Chills standing by with an interview, but man, what a win for Alex Ernst. What an effort, though, from Ryan McGee. Two guys, two warriors now in the YouTube boxing scene. You don't necessarily know how it feels until you're in there doing it, and they've just been inducted into this brotherhood. 100%. Great fight. Great I'm interviewing fight. both of you guys. I'm interviewing both of you guys. All right. Alex, is my mic on? Okay. Alex, that was a hell of a fight, a full-on brawl. What do you think gave you the advantage in the end? I don't think I had one. I thought he did just as good. I don't understand fighting when you're fighting, man. You're just fighting. <laughs> it sucks, kind of, but whatever. Good job, dude. I loved it. It was fun. I loved it. Ryan, you have a chin on you, that's for sure. How are you feeling right now? The nose is a bit stuffed. Yeah, that was a good fight. Is there anything you want to say to your opponent? Hey, Alex, if you're listening out there next to me, fucking good fucking job, dude. Hold What's that? Good job. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Let's give it up for these guys.
Folks, I am here with the co-founder and part of the main reason we're all here tonight. Anissa, how are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm nervous, but I'm doing good. Listen, I don't know how nervous you are, but standing in front of the creator of Creator Clash, there can't be a person more nervous than myself, but we're here because of some great charities that I know you wanted to talk about. Yeah. Take me through the reason that Creator Clash is being put on tonight. Um, about three years ago, my dad was diagnosed with early onset Alzheimer's. It's been a fast decline. It's been really hard for my family, my mom. The Alzheimer's Association gives money not only to funding, looking into cures for Alzheimer's, but also helps with people who are taking care of patients with Alzheimer's, and that's very important to me. Of course, and, and for any of you that are out there now, these pay-per-view purchases, the bands in attendance, 10,000 sold out, this will all be for a charity event. Not only that, we also are here because of the American Heart Association as well. Yes. Speak to you a little bit about that charity. Yeah, um, it affects so many Americans. I think it's so important that we're putting money towards it and working towards preemptive measures, uh, trying to help people get uh, the help that they need medically, uh, families, everything. And the last one I wanted to talk to you about really quickly, the Healing Horse Therapy Center. Yeah. Talk to me about that. I just love animals. They Therapy, animals, great combination. I work with dogs uh, in therapy in university, and uh, I think it just does great things for a ton of people. I agree. Well, thank you, Anissa, not only for, for doing this with us here on camera, but for putting on this entire event. Everybody at home knows that you and, and iDubs putting this on is something special for the community. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. And that's right, folks. As you just saw, we've had two fights tonight that have been flat out amazing. But we are not done yet. We have the internet comment etiquette expert, Eric versus DJ Welsh. Fellas, we're looking at the tail of the tape now. This is our first heavyweight fight Ooh. on the card. Let's go. Talk to me about what you're seeing here. I'm seeing two big boys is what I'm seeing. Internet comment, internet comment etiquette error. It's a hard one to say, isn't it? It's not? hard to say it fast. He is a fiend. That man has been starting fights online for years, and I'm excited to see him actually fight now outside of the keyboard. DJ did say that he did some MMA. That's he dropped right. that little nugget, That's right. obviously. And I saw him moving around the ring. He looked like he had some explosive, like Tyson style, where he's going side to side. So okay. I expect some pretty big bombs um, I, from DJ. I agree. Listen, I don't know if he gets better than the first two fights on the card, fellas. Dude. I'm still trying to calm myself down. I, I, we're two fights in, and you hear my voice. Yep. I'm telling you, I can't imagine what this crowd is feeling, the electricity flowing through this event, and we're just going to keep going. I, I, I truly don't understand how anyone could not be watching the Creator Clash right now. Like I said, 10,000 sold out in the Yingling Center, and they're getting their money's worth, man. Oh, they're absolutely getting their money's worth today. They are putting on a show right now. Both of these rounds have just been an absolute beautiful display of fighting and heart, especially the last one from Ryan. He saw a lot of heart and then some, also some good clean boxing. A yeah. lot of shots, you know, Alex looked, looked great with his technique. And look at this crowd giving appreciation. I'll tell you what, they're here for the fights. But when my man Charlie walked in, I know, it was like huh? Mick Jagger walked into this Seriously. place. No, we it, told him to get in the ring, get up on the ropes, and I do his Stone Cold impression. Yeah, they were going else. crazy. They were going crazy for Charlie. They still are. I love it. I, love I was it. wondering if they were selling those picks on eBay. I don't know what was going on. So many pictures coming in. I thought the paparazzi had invaded. But look at this crowd, man. Absolute intensity on the faces, the signs, the posters. These people are here for a reason. They are here for the creator clash and all their favorites. And folks, speaking of their favorites, you see internet comment etiquette. He's He's got a little etiquette in those punches. He has a little bit of technique there. He is the fighting soy boy. He's, he's looking kind of good, though. He's looking kind of nice right now. Look at that, the double jab. And I cannot wait to see what's next from him. Eric, you fight that guy. Who, DJ from Animators versus Games? Come on, fight him. Fine, I'll fight this guy. My opponent is DJ Welch from Animators versus Games, an honorable man that brings me great pride to face him in combat. Ooh, I'm good all day. I can do this all day. And I will. 
What sparring is apparently is when you let your boxing trainer or anyone really just show up and beat the shit out of you until you learn how to get out of the way. Yeah, I might not be the best at blocking punches, but I am the best at good and proper internet comment etiquette. If you ignore the five or six shots I took to the head there, I've got great energy. Now, I know a lot of you think that I'm probably using this boxing match as a way to be goofy or funny. No, that's not true. I'm actually taking all this a lot more seriously than you probably give me credit for it. Yeah, there's nothing like a good left hook to your temple to make you suddenly respect boxing. This is boxing, right? Oh, hey, don't mind me. I'm just learning to fight over here. Yeah, I'm, I'm squeezing in some training videos between gym sessions. You know how it is. Man, I can't wait to see this. <laughs> oh. oh, man, I hate that my belly button's showing. Here, here let me get Yeah, can you get that for me? Yeah, just thanks, dude. Is that good? I just want to look like a boxer. Yeah, I, no, I think you look good. Back, too. Yeah, let me just... This, this should all be even. Oh, we're starting? Yeah. Oh, oh, shit. Eric! Hey. You're gonna go out there and you're gonna absolutely murder this guy, okay? You're gonna go out there and you're gonna you're gonna absolutely destroy DJ. Is that true? Uh, I never said that, and uh, also I don't believe in destroying opponents. I mean, I'm out there to have fun. I'm out there to respect boxing. Uh, I'm out there to just make sure the audience has a good time. What do you guys think? No, but but you're but but you're but but you're gonna go out there and you're gonna really give him the business, right? The business, as in like uh, a cordial and respectful bout. Yes. Absolutely. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Look, go out there, have a great fight. You got it, man. Thanks for fixing my belly button. And I know. All right, here we go. Come on, Jack. Let's go, buddy. about that burly man chest. <laughs> Eric from internet, comment, etiquette. He's doing it old school right now. This, <laughs> the boner jams are playing. He's feeling nice, very bubbly, but I mean, all that changes with one punch. Really. You're absolutely right. And Sensei, he's wearing that headgear for a reason. Talk yes. to me about why exactly, for this bout specifically, we have headgear on here. I, I know he's older, um, but so I don't know exactly why they agreed to headgear. I know they're wearing 16 ounce gloves, uh, but do you know what exactly why they're wearing it? We had, we had them come on the card a little bit later. Uh, and because this is a sanctioned bout from the Florida State Athletic Commission, we're treating our fighters all with respect, all safety protocols being had here tonight. We want to make sure everyone, regardless who steps in that ring, at the end of the night goes home safe. Gotcha. And there's his opponent, DJ Welch. You can see those punches, they're turning over. Oh, yeah. This man does have, in his own words, MMA experience. He's going to bring that to the ring as he walks in in just a moment. But, folks, this is our third fight on the night. And as of last night, you see, again, talking about Burley Manchester. Oh, boy. Look this at man arms. might as well be from Manchester. My goodness. Those That's arms are massive. That's the size of my whole body. On if Eric title. didn't want beef, it's too bad because he's getting it anyway. Wow. And this was our weigh-ins last night. They were doing some chattering. This is going to be an intense fight. I'm excited for this match. DJ, a lot of people are very, very excited to see you fight today. Everybody knows you're going to go out there and you're absolutely going to destroy this guy. What do you think? Uh... I think I'm gonna do pretty good. I'm hoping to do pretty good. But you're, I mean, you're gonna hit him hard, right? As hard as you possibly can. He's not even gonna be able to know what's gonna hit him. I'm gonna hit him appropriately hard, yes. But appropriately is yeah, just like, like two 10-ton hammers are hitting him in the face, right? One half ton. Okay, DJ, I like that. Good luck, man. Go out there and kick some ass. No headgear on DJ, as we see. 
Obviously an experienced fighter. That's an experienced sound. Let's take a listen, boys. So as he makes that walk, you see confidence yes. in DJ. You see a relaxed guy. What are you What are you thinking about that wardrobe? He's got the orange and the black, Charlie. Talk to me about that. It's looking scary. If this guy was my opponent walking out this calm and this stylish, I might just call it quits on the spot. I wouldn't even let a punch <laughs> land. <laughs> I mean, Sensei. You, you see the head guard and no head guard right away, so that's kind of like a big tell to what we're going to see. Um, but I wonder how he's going to approach this. Is well, it looks like it looks right like they're going to put the headgear on. Okay, so, so he's this is good. No, I, I, I was making sure. Obviously, it seemed like Eric wasn't too keen on showing the face on the walkout. He was trying right. to mean mug, so he had the headgear on already. Welsh, on the other hand, DJ was like, "Listen, my people are out there. They got to see the face." So now we're throwing the headgear on uh, again, doing this because we are sanctioned by the Florida State Athletic Commission. We want to make sure all of our fighters while going in and competing, still make it home safe to their friends, to their family. At the end of the day, this is competition. Correct, right, correct. Right. And it's still not guaranteed they will make it home safe. <laughs> I mean, you have Eric up there after Eric, all. Yes, and listen, while Eric is very polite, very respectful, those hands won't be. Oh, as soon as this fight starts, we're gonna get a glimpse of that. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our next bout. We've got five rounds, two minutes each in the heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting in the red corner. He stands 5'11 and weighs 222.8 pounds. From Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, he's most well known for teaching users how to have a proper and respectful engagement online. He often explores the depths of the web to find the strangest videos he can. From internet comment etiquette, he is the fighting soy boy. And his opponent, fighting in the blue corner. He stands five foot seven inches tall and weighs 215.2 pounds. He's from San Francisco, California. He's a lead concept artist who's worked on shows like Star Wars Rebels, The Bad Batch, and Adventure Time. He also helped build the AR department at Instagram and Twitter. Ladies and gentlemen, DJ Welch. All right, fellas. We see this face off. Yes. They touch him up. Nothing left to be said. Yeah, here we go. These boys are big. I'm expecting yes, some are. actual haymakers flying here. Our first heavyweight fight on the night, guys. Judges, as you see, Efren LeBron, Brandon Jackson, and Shami Shipman. Round one. Let's see how DJ approaches this. Flurry by DJ to start the fight here. Big shove from Eric. Yep. In tight, short punches, no winging punches yet. And again, folks, this is a five-round uh -oh. fight. Uh -oh. Big shot there. Rocked Eric a bit, did not expect that overhand. Oh, nice jab, nice return. Good movement here from Eric. Yes. I wanted him to see how he was going to take the Trying punches. to get out of the lane. It looks like he's going to get tagged as he stands in front. He keeps his elbows in really close on his guard, so his yeah. hands are kind of low, so in a little bit square sometimes when he defends. You're seeing so DJ try to go peekaboo style, just a bit big left, left hand. Hook. Another one behind it. And again, we're seeing DJ just walk forward. DJ's a strong guy. Just He's walking right into range. And Eric's just trying to shove him off the that, that shot right there. Yep. If it connects, even with the headgear. He's definitely not only going to feel it, he's going to feel the ground. Nice There's uppercut, uppercut, cheeky uppercut. Yes, cheeky uppercut. DJ's just finding a home for that left hook. Right hand, oh, left oh, hook, oh. down goes Eric. Kind of jump scared him with that one. He yeah. wasn't ready for that. And again, I think this is a little bit of just being shocked, yep. right, by what this feels like in yes. this moment from Eric. Referee says, give me those gloves. And here we go once again. Here we go. The last 35 seconds, Eric shaking his head like, oh boy, what did I get myself into? DJ, DJ is strong and he's showing off that strength. He definitely is. There's another right hand. And we're swinging in. Oh, big shots. Phone big booth shots. fighting. I don't want to answer the phone when they're in the booth, folks. 
Zero in a game. Been able to land anything significant. Yeah, it's just, just gaining the respect from DJ. Here's 10 seconds. Eric's just having a hard time keeping him off him. Right hand to the body, DJ jab. Right hand once again. There it is, the end of the round. Well, he did say he was going to hit him appropriately hard, and I would say that advertising was not misleading. So let's take a look at this knockdown. Again, in close phone booth fighting. The right hand shocked him. The left hand behind it was just too much. That right hand hurt him right there, right in the temple, right through the head guard. And part of the reason that DJ's able to come in and land these shots is Eric hasn't thrown an effective punch. He's shoving DJ out of these clinches. He's just taking two hands and saying, just get, get away from me. He needs to put together you can some tell these combination. Guys are two different athletes, yeah. and I don't know if sure Eric has the boxing ability to land something significant, especially with the head guards. Yeah. And as we're taking a look here, you see it was overwhelmingly DJ Welsh in the first round. Power shots, total shots. And it wasn't like he was throwing and not landing. That's a high percentage, around 50% of those power shots. Correct, it doesn't seem like DJ is throwing full power. He's throwing quite a bit, but if he decides to sit down and puts it his full weight behind it. Here we go, round number two. Nice combination by Eric. Nice left hand again from DJ. Oh, big shot forward. there. Another one, he might be looking to finish yeah, it here, he's yeah. Taking a knee. He's turning his head, he doesn't yeah. like taking those shots. It's hard yeah. to deal with those. Referee counting him. Eric looked over here and I saw a fire in his eye. I'm ready to see something pretty triumphant from Eric, maybe. Let's see. see. Because DJ has taken that fighter instinct, that fighter will, away with every single knockdown. And I'm telling you right now, it's different when you're in there. And I think Eric is finding that out. But look at that right hand. DJ seems to take his foot off the gas here. A little bit. A little bit there. Right hand from Eric lands. And we slowed the pace just a little bit, which you expect at heavyweight. Yes. These guys are not going to. Two knockdowns have happened already. And right? again, DJ just pulls his way into range. That left took a little while. Oh, right hand again. That hurts, oh, Eric. Oh, and he's coming forward. And he goes down once again. That is our three knockdown rule. Is it per not round or sure. is it total? Total is, is, per round is probably what we're looking for. So that's number yes. two. We have 30 seconds left. Eric's and not only is, is Eric having trouble staying up, his headgear's having trouble staying up right yes. now. He's staying alive, though. I'm happy. I'm happy to see him like this. He's fighting. He's throwing Big back. shot again Big there. Shots by DJ. Big, Big shot. jab from DJ. 16 seconds. Eric can't afford to go down one more time in this round. Our three knockdown rule is in effect. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Big he hook. Survive. Can he survive the round? DJ's, I think, content with leading the end of the round here. DJ's got a lot of muscle mass, too, so yeah. that fatigue is probably setting yeah. in at this point. He's throwing a lot of big punches. The I mean, at this, and the at big this point, Ryan is going to need a monster third round. Oh, and we might see it from Eric. Both corners right now, imploring their fighters to continue. Try to step on the gas pedal. Take your time, but we have to continue to work forward. And it looks like we're going to call this one off, folks. It looks like Eric is done. The referee is weighing this off. It. They are that is a victory it. to DJ Welch. And again, you don't know how you're going to react when right. you get in there. And, and for Eric, I think it was a little bit of a shock factor. I'm yes. still very impressed that he was able to eat as many blows as he did. He fell down, or he got knocked down twice, still came back up. So I'm still very impressed with this. Good decision, because I think we're going to see more of this. It, was, it looked like it was going to be more of that. And yeah. I'll, I'll echo what you said, uh, Charlie. Listen, he may not have got the big three tonight, but it was a victory for him stepping in. And even though he did get knocked down, he popped right back up. He answered that call multiple times, yep. and he continued to go forward. His coach obviously does the right thing and steps in there and says, listen, you know, 
we had our fight. We'll, we'll fight another day. I think it's just a matter of experience. Eric has the reach on him, just couldn't use it because DJ was so good at just making it at close quarters. And by the way, DJ did what he had to do. Yep. Yeah. He came forward. He got in the face of the, the inexperienced guy. Again, that MMA background coming into play a little bit. We have a match stoppage. Guy. Two minutes in the second round. The winner by TKO, DJ Welch. DJ, congratulations. What is going through your mind right now? Oh man, it's a roller coaster. But it was fun. I was worried he was gonna come back because I was getting gassed. <laughs> is there anything you want to say to Eric? Uh, maybe we do this again? Absolutely. Oh, <laughs> now DJ. You were telling me before you have a bit of MMA experience. How was the transition over to boxing? Oh, it was super weird. Boxing, at least for me and the way I fought, has a different range. So like being this close to Eric, I want to either tackle him or kick. <laughs> so I was freaking out the whole time, but I really enjoyed it. Was there any part of your game plan that you think specifically helped you get the win today? Um, in practice, I fought a lot of great people who are luckily bigger, or at least taller than him. So it taught me how to get on the inside pretty quickly. So on the inside, I knew I could get to work, and I'm really good uh, being close. Eric, is there anything you want to say to the crowd? Oh, yeah. I wish I could have gone the whole five. My opponent was a champion, an absolute champion. He had five weeks, five weeks to prepare for this. I've been training since February. In the first round, I knew I was going to lose. And I'm, I'm man enough to admit that. I'm boy enough to admit that. Because I'm the fighting soy boy. And sometimes we lose. He, he will always win. Very, very respectable sportsmanship. Let's give it up for these guys. There it is, as you see it, folks. Hard fought from Eric, just not enough, uh, unfortunately. But congrats to DJ. We're definitely going to see him again. I'm excited to see him fight so. again in the future. If they do it again, I'd love to see it without the headgear, because you know maybe that's what went wrong with Eric. Maybe he's just not used to the headgear, right? It's a big difference there. DJ's a strong guy. And folks, I want to make sure we all know that this event is only possible for our official sponsor, Fansly. Support for Creator Clash is brought to you by Fansly.com, a spicy social media platform that allows you to message and see more of your favorite creators. Sign up at Fansly.com today instantly using your Twitch, Twitter, or Google account. Once again, thank you to Fansly, the official sponsor of Creator Clash. And as we saw earlier, I mean, again, we've been spoiled. Look yeah. at this first fight. Dad came out on a mission. What a start to the fight there. Left hooks, power. Dad showing that he's serious about this boxing. We hope to see him again. Incredible, incredible fight from Dad. Yeah, he and sealed that one in 22 seconds. 22 seconds. It, would all, it was all hugs after, but our second fight was no hugging at all. Look at this war. Big oh. shots from Alex Ernst and Ryan McGee, the chin on this man. He had an Iron Giant tattoo on his shoulder, but I think his chin was made of iron in this fight. Look at this. I wish this, this, this fight could have gone on longer. Like, I agree. 10 this rounds was, is more need, of it. it if, I don't know if they would have lasted <laughs> the I know, full I know, but I wanted but to I see more. But I needed to see more of that. It was just heart on display. And here in our third fight, listen, we saw two guys come out, try to put on the best show they could. As far as Eric was concerned, you see this fighting soy boy just, he didn't have it tonight, but right. he got in there. He tried his very best. DJ Welsh, though, the big jab down the yeah, pipe. He was right dealing hand. with DJ, man. DJ is an absolute tank. I don't know. A if, lot of muscle under there, man. And again, in this creator boxing scene, I don't know of many heavyweights that we've seen that have that kind of pop in their hands. Correct. 
like we said, this isn't it. We have even more. I know, we need a smoke break ourselves. <laughs> it feels like we've gone through the ringer already, but we're just getting started, folks. And as you can see up next, we have I Did A Thing versus The Odd Ones Out, followed by our first ever female content creator boxing match, Yodely Haley and Justin Minks. Guys, tell me what you're thinking here. As we move into our next few fights, Hundar of Muscle Party, the man is ripped to shreds, but he's taking on AB from H3's podcast, Ram Steffen, your financial guru. Michael Reeves also going at it, and you have Aaron Hansen versus Harley of Epic Mealtime, another heavyweight matchup oh, I cannot wait for. And then we get to that main event, I-Dubs versus Dr. Mike. Fantastic fights, guys. So many of these guys are unassuming. I can't put a read on them. You don't know how they're going to perform. And they come out and they surprise us. And I am thoroughly surprised with how these fights are going. It's impressed. It's we all are in this scene. I cannot not only the fights are impressive, but I cannot imagine 10,000 people in an arena all to see something. And that's what we have here tonight. 10,000 people sold out. This crowd has had more energy than any energy drink you could buy off the shelf. And Facts. The, the fighters are putting on a great show for them. They're absolutely getting their money's worth here. Well, listen, like I said, we don't have just those three because we are coming up next with the odd ones out versus I did a thing, James versus Alex. We're looking at the sale of the tape, and again, this weight, similar but distributed in different ways. Talk to me, Charlie, about these two. So Alex is a very scary, imposing man. That guy is deceptively ripped. And I I don't know who can stand against him here. I'm hoping James can put on an incredible performance and maybe surprise all of us. But just looking at them, Alex is just clearly at another level when it comes to YouTuber fitness here. We saw I did a thing at the hotel. Yes. Since they were walking around a tall, rangy guy. And as we take a look at, um, well, I don't know oh, if that was my. very satisfying. Well, but, uh, I wonder what was going on. I, I, it's uh, part of the ritual. It's I see. part of fighting. A little, fighting. little fighting. hygienic oh, issue boy. there. But uh, as you can see, I did a thing is about to do a thing. <laughs> Facts. So my name's Alex from the YouTube channel I Did A Thing, and I guess I, I boxed now. My mom, my girlfriend, was very, very strongly against this, which is logical. Like, there's nothing smart about getting punched in the head. A lot of it was just from me being so ADHD that I said yes before I even realized how much is actually involved in a boxing match. The biggest part for me was getting over the feeling of not trying to run away. My natural response is to turn my head and run. And you, you can't do that in boxing. And I think once I learned to kind of, you know, calm down a little bit, keep my hands up, and realize that you can actually absorb a punch with your hands and just move back, was when I learned that, oh yeah, I'm not gonna be getting punched the whole time. And then I started to realize, like when I got into the training, how, well, it sounds lame to say, but how almost like life-changing it is, like dedicating yourself to one thing and just doing that and just having that drive every single day. But it becomes one of the things you think about it nonstop. And I'm confident in my fitness. I'm confident in moving and staying. I'm hoping these, these lanky arms count for something. We are here with I Did A Thing, representing the entire planet of Australia. How do you feel about this fight? I feel great. I feel great. I've never been more excited in my life. Can you tell us a little bit about the, uh, your, your pre-fight ritual you had? Uh, with your uh, with your mouthpiece. Well, see, it's very normal uh, in Australia for your mouth guards to be warm before you put them in. So my good coach over here from Australia, Alexa, keeps my mouth guard in his pants. Incredible, incredible. Can I have some water, actually. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you, thank you. And that came straight from an Australian water fountain. It did. It did. That's awesome. That's fantastic. Good luck, man. Thank you. And folks, that might have been a PBR, but he's looking TKO in this fight. Is he wearing? Is that? Are those khakis? It looks like khakis. Oh. Over it. I don't even see shorts under there. I don't know. I, I'm just surprised they're not asked as traps. He's been known to have those butt cheeks on full display, so. I was gonna say, Charlie, tell us what's going on here. Well, listen, maybe he's gonna shake those cheeks to his open song <laughs> as he walks out here, folks. And folks, 
I don't know what I'm seeing, but it is entertaining, and I couldn't do that if I tried. I would, I would throw my hip out doing this. Look at the synchronization. Oh, oh, oh the leap look at the leapfrog and the piggyback ride. What a combo. I'm telling you something. This man knows how to get the crowd on its feet. I love the choreography. That was an epic display. Oh, they're khaki shorts. Yeah. I didn't see the that. khaki shorts. In front of his legs. I'll tell you what. This trainer is, is lifted heavy. He pulls off the first apron. And what's under it? Another oh, apron. Man. Oh, goodness. Another apron. A better apron. A better string-laced apron. And not the type you want to see your significant other in. There it is. Oh, man. I'm already on my feet. We haven't even started the fight yet. Now, this is a big boy. I was talking to him the other day. He said he wanted to box barefoot, but the committee would not let him. <laughs> so right now we're Definitely. seeing him skirt every possible line here for his attire. Those arms look long. I know it says 6'1 to 6'3, but that's why I said that, that reach it differently. That reach. And look at those something. shots being thrown down the pipe. Let's see if he utilizes those long, rangy arms. And look at this. It's the birthday boy himself. The odd one's out. He's warming up on the noodles, as you see. It's his birthday, but as of last night, he's trying to deliver a present of his own. There goes the shirt. You see the weigh-ins. Again, distributed differently, a little bit thicker here. Yes. Broad shoulders. And as you saw, they were doing a little fainting. They're smiling, but that will not be the case tonight. Nope, once they get hit. We are here with the Odd Ones out. He's looking very good, very excited. It's his birthday today. Can you tell us what your birthday wish is? Oh, then it wouldn't come true if I told you, wouldn't it? Oh, he knows, he knows, he knows. So how do you, how do you plan on going out and smiting your opponent today? Uh, well, hopefully the birthday wish will help with the, with the strategy. Uh, you know, obviously I'm just gonna go in there with a bunch of, of energy going in to have a good time and just <laughs> get in there, get in close to him and, and just have this raging bull energy to just knock him out. You're gonna have a real party in there, aren't you? Oh, yeah. yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a knockout at the party. That's fantastic. All right, man, good luck. We'll see you soon. Let's go. Come on, let's go. You heard it folks. A KO party is abound. He's an animator, but I don't think he's going to animate those fists. He's going to throw them IRL, Sensei. 100%. 100%. Watch the birthday hat as he walks in. Listen, the man doesn't have 17 million subscribers for no reason. This crowd is about to let us hear it. He did say raging bull energy, and I'm excited to see that. Living it up, you see a, bill, a, a little bit of a Conor McGregor Billy strut. Yeah, and he said he's gonna have that rage and bull. So, like with Ryan, I thought he wasn't looking ready, and then he came out and had absolute intensity and had heart. So we shall see which guy uh, brings out the intensity and brings the fight. Charlie, when you're looking at these two standing in the ring now, I'm taking a look over at Alex. I did a thing, and you can see he's amped. He's ready to go. Yep, he is. He actually just looks like a schoolyard bully right now. He's got the khakis on. He's ready to throw hands. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our next bout. Five rounds, two minutes each in the cruiserweight division. Introducing first, fighting in the red corner. He stands six foot three inches tall and weighs 186.6 pounds. He hails from Sydney, Australia. He's a YouTube personality and comedian. He's also the co-star of Boy Boy, created alongside Alexa Vulovich. He's the thunder from down under. I did a thing. And his opponent, fighting in the blue corner. He stands six foot one and weighs 185.6 pounds from Chandler, Arizona. He's a cartoonist turned amateur boxer with a personal vendetta against the entire country of Australia. Along with his hit YouTube channel, he sold books, board games, and a mobile game. And it's also his birthday. <laughs> Introducing to you, the odd ones out.
You can see odds one getting psyched in. But I'll tell you this, this is something we're not taking into account. That flight from Australia is a 32-hour flight. Wow. Now, I did a thing, Alex, he got here two weeks ahead of time, so I think he's well adjusted. Just keep an eye on that, as well as the fact that odds one out. No touch, by the way. We didn't get any kind of touch. Here we go, no touch of the gloves, and now we go. Yes. Round one. He did wish him a happy birthday, though. That is correct. That oh, jab is oh, strong. He's already. coming right out. It's, he's trying to put him to bed right away. He said, the right hand has landed. There's no singing happy birthday before the good oh. night. Look at the feints here. Yes, oh, oh, that hand. is a little square. He's a little square, and he's not moving. Oh, good. A lot of Please. shots being landed. It's his birthday. Oh, oh no. Big lift took landed. Look at this. The right hand from Oswin lands. Wow. And again, that jab is so right. Oh, that right hand. hand. Oh, oh, my goodness. Oswin is hurt. Alex doesn't want to follow up. Oh, what's Referee going on says, here? let's go. A lot of respect. Alex, we got to close the show, he we says. got to close it. That right hand landed. Oh, James takes another, another one, one on the head. The referee is not letting it happen. Alex is frustrated he with is the referee. Frustrated. Here. He is frustrated because he he doesn't want to go further with this, but he has to close the show. This is boxing. We have to leave it all in the ring. The referee is not going to step in until no, they are not. They he are sees not. what he needs to. He's just going he for it now. He is tearing him apart right now. Again, He's still arguing with the referee. The ref. Another big Jab shot landed. Right that just speaks to the character of Alex. He does not want to hurt him. I mean, there's absolutely no defense right here from Oswin. Big Another right, right hand, hand landed. That's it, folks. Oh, and and that's all. It. Wow. Wow. Alex, I did a thing, and he's visibly, visibly frustrated. Yes. With the, the, the referee, obviously, doing his job, but Alex, just the character like you spoke to, right. didn't want to do more than he had to to get that job done. Obviously, a very big skill gap in this fight. You saw that because who knew? that Alex was gonna be so technical. Right. Who knew that he was gonna have so much power behind that right hand? So the thing I don't think anyone's gonna believe is he's never fought. He's Ever. never fought before. Ever. Yeah, but he looks so natural out there. He is built to fight. You can look yeah, at him he has the body for it. Body, yeah. the range, the discipline, the skill, the timing, the patience. One minute and 20 seconds is all it took. Yeah, well, and it could have been stopped a it little It could have been stopped. I agree. And also, that right hand that shook him, he could have ended it right there. Oh, right. One or two more punches after that. Yeah, there was, there was almost a freezing time on the face of odds one out. But man, what a victory for, for Alex. And I'll tell you this, he may have just been introduced to a new contender. Yes. In the YouTube boxing scene. I do hope he keeps up with it. I think he would be a real force. I, I, I don't see how he could. But we're going to go now to our official replay. Boom. Finding that right hand. On Perfect the timing. And again, using right that there. jab to paw. Boom. Looking for the right time for that right hand. Beautiful. Oh. Down the pipe. Oh my god. And again, it shocks you. Oh yeah. It shocks you. He probably forgot it was his birthday for a second. <laughs> Felt it right through his heels on that one. He said, I'm how old? 13? <laughs> what? And we're gonna go ahead and take a look as our official decision is read off. The referee has stopped the match at 1 minute 24 seconds in the first round. Here's your winner by TKO. I did a thing! All right, Alex, congratulations is there. Like, what is going through your mind right now? I think I'm just kind of shocked, really. I don't really think I understood what boxing actually was. And to get in the ring with someone and actually have them hit you in the face and hit them in the face is a terrifying thing to do. <laughs> Besides happy birthday, is there anything you want to say to your opponent? He fought well. He fought work well. And good work for having the balls to get in the ring with me. And so, we know you're Australian, you had, it was a 32 hour flight to get here. Yep. How was the transition, training in Australia and then coming to fight in Florida? It was good, uh, taking lots and lots of drugs really helps with the transition. Yeah. Fair enough, congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you.
telling you, fellas. <laughs> Who expected this? I did not expect this. I'll tell you, I expected that from Alex. I'm not going to lie. The, oh, size, so you of, do, the huh? size of that guy yes. is nutty. That I mean, is a his, scary man. His frame, his ability, his poise in a 10,000 sold out seat arena. Yep. Coming from Australia, Australia's favorite son, representing the country well. Oh, he did the justice tonight, I'd say. I'm excited to see him continue. I, I want to see I know. him fight he's a, he's a contender. Yeah, he's got, he wasn't just throwing wild punches either. No. Send up his jab, looking for the right time to throw that right hand, and did it multiple times. I mean, to have the poise to be able to look at the ref, you know, and not want to finish the fight, that thing could have yeah. ended oh. right away. Absolutely. He has a heart of gold. He wanted the fight to end the second he wobbled him. He was like, this is probably where it should stop before I kill this man. Yeah, seriously. So like I said, <laughs> I don't know if we can get better, but we're going to get better. We, because we, that's what we thought, but then we keep having continues. getting better and better and better. Exactly. And like I said, folks, if you're watching at home, you're getting a real treat because we have so many more fights tonight. Again, thank you to Fansley, our official sponsor of the Creator Clash. Our next fight, I cannot wait to show you all because we have our first female content creator wow. boxing match right here in the Yingling Center. It's about damn time. It is about yeah. damn time. So, as you both see, Charlie, talk to me about these two creators, Justin Minx and Yodeling Haley. Well, I think Minx is going to come out here with legitimate psychopath energy. She is an absolute wild card, and anything could happen. She could start throwing kicks for all we know. It could just get wild. Sensei, I'm looking at the weight difference yep. here. I know it's going to have an effect. Talk to me about what you're seeing. Yeah, I know that uh, Yodeling Haley didn't have a lot of time to prepare, right? And you're talking about how Minx is going to come out with that intensity. We might see like the dad and Matt with the first fight, yep. but we don't know. Yodeling really Haley said she wants to continue to fight, that she likes boxing. So I don't really know what to expect. Again, these personalities and their characters, I don't really know them. So yep. I am, I do not know, and I'm excited to see how this is going to turn out. It's going to come down to whoever's hungriest for this one. And speaking of hungry, look at the smile on that face. Yodeling really Haley, again, you can tell the excitement is there. The right hands are there. I know. Weaving in the pocket is there. Look at the roll. She jab, said she jab. hasn't been training Upper. for a long time. But. Now look at this. And last night at our official weigh-ins, again, the smile, the walk. You can tell both of these women are not only excited to be here, but excited to put on a show. Look at how both are in boxing shape. We are here with yodeling Haley. Now, Haley, I, I looked a lot at some of your, your training, a lot of your tape, and uh, you were very discreet about it. A lot of people didn't get to see a lot of what you were working with. Uh, they didn't even notice, in fact, that uh, you worked so hard that there were no punches left to roll with. What would you say so about that? I would say I did that so, um, you know, there's no expectations, and I just wanted to keep it a secret, you know? And just what I do out there is everything that everyone gets. I don't know. So you, you, you would say that you were very focused. Would you say so? I would say so. That's fantastic. Good luck, Haley. Thank you so much. Go. Good luck. <laughs> and folks, you hear, girls run the world, and they're going to run it in this boxing match. Again, the first official content creator female boxing match this crowd is about to come alive. Watch this. She might be sandbagging a little bit. I don't know. I, <laughs> a little hustle going that, on there. Watching that, absolutely. I'll tell you something. This is very similar to an old Mike Tyson walkout with the foghorn in the background Yes. as he walked to the ring to devastate. Yeah, this is just kind of scary. I think we've been duped. The, the smile is... I think we've been duped. I know, yeah. I know. This is not what we thought, folks. <laughs> it sounded like David Yoda Jones Haley. was coming. I'm telling you. She's laughing and smiling, but I think she really looks forward to fighting. Absolutely, yeah. yes. This isn't a I'm happy to be here smile. This is a, oh, you're going to see. I mean, if you're hiding your footage, I think you're doing it because you think you have something. Absolutely. I don't think so, yeah. Absolutely. I agree. 
but she's not the only one in this fight. We have the Oiris Lass herself, the last kicker, the Gaelic Goblin, just a minx. Is absolutely devastating with those shots. Let's see her. Hey, it's me, just a minx, you know. I got invited to a boxing match. That is um, definitely something that no one expected, considering how out of shape I was. I wouldn't even say I am anymore, because you know, I've been training for a while. And for some reason, people didn't seem to believe me. This is a real thing. I've signed up for an actual boxing tournament, and I've never boxed in my life. Can you use have some boxing matches? And now I'm fighting Haley, a TikToker, who is a dancer, so definitely has more cardio than me. You know, it's insane. But well, I'm actually enjoying it now. But I also will say I have been very more confident in myself since the boxing game. I've been training for a good while now, but I'm very, very excited. We're here with the fight in Irish herself, Justin Minx. Minx, how do you feel? I feel uh, fantastic. Um, I need to pee, but I'm going to hold it in because I feel like that adds more adrenaline. 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 I said that. Adrenaline. I said that. You're looking like a gladiator. Have you ever been told that? Never in my life. Usually I get called I look like an alcoholic a lot. It's really sad. Well, I Today I look like a gladiator. I'm taking that and I'm running with it. That's right, a vengeful gladiator. Vengeful. Ooh. That's right. Vengeful, it's almost sexy. Mix, you're about to fight. I am about to fight. I am. I am! You are! I am! I'm yeah. about to fight! I'm about to kill! Yeah! Yeah! Okay, go out there and kick some ass. Okay, let's go! And here we go, guys. Just a minx. I have to, I have to say this. Not only am I excited for the first female boxing match in the creator space, but just to make being on the card, gives me a chance to do my orders accent, mate. <laughs> oh, there you go, good excuse right. to use it. Yes. He's doing a walkout. <laughs> Let's take a listen, boys. Fellas, the roof just came off the Yingling Center. Justin Minx has the crowd behind her. Oh, I just got goosebumps. That was intense. The crowd is shaking right now. That was intense. And if you thought that was intense, it's about to get even more intense because wow. the crowd is into this on every side of the arena. The voices are deafening, but what's more deafening, gentlemen, when you look into both corners right now, and you see that realization coming across the faces of both Yodeling Haley and Justin Minx. It's time for the next match. Five minutes, two rounds each in the junior middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting in the red corner. She stands five foot eight inches tall and weighs 147.6 pounds. From Huntsville, Alabama. She first went viral in 2019 with a video of her dancing to Michael Jackson's Smooth Criminal. Since then, she's earned over three and a half million followers who tune in for her dance and comedy videos. Introducing Yodeling Haley. And her opponent, fighting in the blue corner. She stands five foot nine inches tall and weighs 155.4 pounds. All the way from Leinster, Ireland. She's a Twitch streamer known for her loud mouth and wild antics on stream. She's very eager to start boxing, and her dad says he will disown her if she gets knocked out. Introducing Just a Mix. I'll tell you something, boys, this crowd is in favor of one fighter. Oh, yes. Yeah, but this is all Minx right now. This is. I'm pro Minx crowd, but the good thing about boxing is the crowd doesn't decide who wins this fight. It does not. I'm so excited, fellas. I'm telling you something. This is historic, what we're getting right now. This oh. is 
historic. Haley seems to have flipped the switch. Yeah. She looks to have flipped the switch. No she more smiles on the face of nope. Yodeling Haley. Round one of your first official content creator female boxing match starts right now. Here we go. Oh, oh going right out. Oh, boys. This, oh, my Lord. A war just trading. And look at this. Oh, Haley took a, a right hand. Solid. Big right hand. Oh. 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 Oh, a slip. That's a slip. That's a slip. She came right oh, back up. She, was she stepped right back in. Ready to go again. Oh, my Lord. Trying to close Quickly. this out in a hurry. Quickly, both ladies. Haley is not messing around. Right hand, oh, Haley. right hand landed. Minx throws a big right hand of her own. Yes, Minx, Minx the stronger. She seems to be the stronger fighter. That weight is coming into that play here now. Haley trying to work in behind her jab. A little bit reachy behind the jab, and she's getting yep. caught. Minx is working the jab. Right Minx, hand. But there's a she mean bug in her face. Again, faints in with the. Oh, oh. And Haley turns her left head up on that one. the top. Yep. Right hand. Haley is wearing some redness on her nose and cheeks as well. Meeks is hitting her with big power jabs. Haley's coming in with that jab with her hand down and her chin up. Big Ooh, right hand, big Haley. right hand landed. Meeks answers. Big, oh, big yeah. jab. Big, big jab. Meeks is landing bombs. And Haley just wearing it and coming forward. Another right hand. Big swing. Big swing. Oh, 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 you know what it seems like chin. right now, Sensei? Haley doesn't have any effect when she's planning on Minx. And Minx is wearing it and coming cool. With yes, the power yes. Shot. Because Haley's trying. But look at look at the damage on Haley's face. Big oh, right big, hand again, big, Minx. Big punch. Big oh, right hand, big Minx. Right hand. Another one. Big right hand. Haley with oh, the answer to the road. back. Oh, hard, man. Big, big oh, right hand. She's not seeing that Huge. right hand. Oh, you, right hook. She tried to turn it. And look at, look at. Wobbly legs from Haley. Wobbly legs from Haley. 11 seconds. Oh, Another right, right hand. Landed. But Minx is taking some front hand is low, and Minx is using her reach and find that right hand. Clubbing Timing right are coming hands. in. Timing are coming in. Incredible first wow. round. Wow. Whoa. First round, guys. Oh, and it's just man. one. And it's just one. It's just yep. one. And you can see the fatigue is starting already to set in. But again, heart is taking over. Let's look at a little bit of the highlights from last round. Haley trying to jab in. That nice right hand, hand, but again, Minx just wears it. it. Wears it. She it really looks like Haley's putting a lot more into the punches, but just Minx has just a bigger presence nice in the ring. That that weight is is yeah. is a yeah. factor you here. You keep that chin up, like we're seeing from Minx. She's landing big power shots, but if that chin stays up for the entirety of the fight, you're going to start to see as fatigue sets in. That chin get tested more and more and more. You want to see both ladies here try to at least implore some protection, but yes. I, I don't think we're going to get that here in round two. Minx has got Haley's timing, and Haley's trying to step in behind her jab. Yep. But Minx is just timing her coming in, and she's colliding into that right hand. And here we go again. Minx on the front foot. Yes, coming forward. Jab. And again, Haley is trying to work behind that jab. She, she is. is. She's got a right hand chin. behind. That chin does need to go down, but again, nice right yep. hand. Big hook, right hand from Minx. Yep. Oh, man, You right see hooks. the effect that the shots that Minx are landing or having. Heavier, the heavier. Again, oh, jab, jab. snaps the head She's back. She's just coming oh, forward. She's she stepping, shuffling. She's doing the same type the same of footwork. step every shuffle every time. time. And Minx is just timing that every time. Lead left hook. She's looking to go left hook, right hand behind. Oh, right hand big shot. That was a nice shot from Haley as well. Right hand to the body, then goes upstairs. Minx is standing still. I wonder if fatigue's gonna play again. Right hand hand here. Minx's hands are really low. Yeah, her shoulders might be just yeah. dead right now. Yep. But Haley, look at this pace that Yodeling Haley is putting on Minx. Yes. Minx's hands are low. Her arms are dead right now. You can tell. A lot of fatigue. Now Minx comes back. Big shots. Right hand. Left hand. Right. Haley's got to move. Oh, big she's right hand. Big right hand. Oh, she's taking bombs right now. Minx has her in the corner. Haley tries to struggle she's to get out. Up. Haley's got to move. She's got to move. These short right forward. hands are landing. Big hooks. Oh, Haley, oh, she's running out of gas, though. Yes. She's getting gas. Now Haley comes forward. But Minx, Minx as well. Her tank is gone. Both ladies trying a war of attrition. Oh, Haley's just running right into those shots. Just running directly into range. And Minx is recognizing it and throwing. Yes. Boom. Big jab once again. Oh! Wobbly Huge legs. right hand. My goodness. A home and for again, that. Haley 
What kind of chin? Oh, 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 Jesus oh, Christ. She's doing the same thing as you see the same over. thing over and over again. Haley just stepping shuffle. She's stepping. Again, another right hand behind it goes Minx, and there oh, is the round. Oh, my God. Wow. How many strikes were thrown there? 200? Like, oh, my Lord. It was ridiculous here. And Haley on the front foot. Haley on the front foot is bringing the fight, but again, you're seeing the differences in who's landing with bigger, yes. not only bigger damage, but continuously. Haley just has to stick and move because Minx has got nothing left. Her hands are by her side, yep. and then Haley comes in, and then she's just swinging because she's got nothing. And it's well just one shot. Different entrance. Shots. Different entrance. Yes. It can't just be the jab, straight line jab all the way in because Minx is timing her. The big overhand has caught her multiple times. As you can see, she's busted open right now. But. Again, I, I, where do you just guys dance? Use that footwork. No, in the outside, you know, lateral movement. And we, we have a close fight in terms of landing, but look at the disparity in landing. Yes. The jabs that Yodin Yod Haley's landing versus the power shots of Justin Meeks. A very big disparity, guys. And Minx is going to be dangerous early in the round. Haley has got to find a way to get her later in the round, which is going to be more fatigue. I 100% agree. Here's round number three. Minx oh, big going jab. right into it, though. Surge of energy. Right oh. hand from Haley. Ooh, she was right. missing the straight right hand is Haley. Lands a nice two there. Again, Minx. Minx has got her. This is the early in the round, so she's got a surge of energy. She has to score here. Last. Yes. Oh, she tries to slip off, pull two, but it wasn't quite as nope. technical as you want to see. You can see the weight on those punches just really affecting Haley. And again, here you go. Minx is a little gas. Yep. Yep, can Haley, does Haley, Haley have to take, to take over up. the pace of this fight? Just, yep. Oh my God. And now look at Yodeling, Haley she coming senses forward. It. She senses it. And oh. again, senses it. Right hand lefts again. Now Minx tries to battle back. Big jab from Minx, yeah. battles Haley back. Another one. She's just having a hard time getting her hands up right now. The, the fatigue is setting in. Absolutely setting in for Minx. Haley oh, shakes her head and says, bring it on. They are here to Give fight. Give me more. Oh, big right hand lands on the neck there for Minx. Yes. Slips out of the way, but still oh, has the right hand. The fatigue the is connected, right the big Haley one. Coming forward. Haley's got to turn it up. She's got it. Yeah, she's trying to clinch. She's trying to clinch. Haley's got to go. Right. Haley's got to go. punched herself out here since you see her bend over at the waist. She's confused. She's confused. Haley's got to go. Big jab. She left Minx right off the hand. hook. Now she Minx comes Minx. forward. Oh! Big right hand. Huge right hand, Minx. Back. But she's right back. But Haley's back in it. I mean, we are centimeters away from someone going yes. down here. Oh! Big right hand. Huge right hand, Yodeling Haley. She's loaded it from her hip. Oh, my Lord. Back and forth we go. Jesus Christ. Oh, my ten goodness. Ten seconds. Big oh, jab, Minx. Jab. Another one. Right hand. Last ten seconds. Oh, my goodness. What a oh, wild jab, jab to jab. end the way and the Wow. Oh. I'll tell you something right away. Yodeling Haley needed a round to come back, and that one was it. Yep. The tide of this fight yes. has shifted. You could hear her corner going wild when Minx went down to catch her breath. Yes. She needed to push that there advantage. There was some confusion. I don't yeah. know if thought it was a break or maybe in the Some, action. Sometimes when we see these fighters get their first instance of blood, get that yep. first taste of Ooh, that right a hand. successful right hand like that one, sometimes it is a little bit of a shock. And Yodeling Haley took that shock and turned it into offense in our yes. last round. And again, Minx, Minx quite came fatigued, back. But she's, she has enough power yes. to keep Haley Single off Single shots her. can do something oh, like that as we see a big left right hook to the chin. Yeesh. This is going to be an important round right here. I want to see where you guys have this going into round four. It's a close fight. I think it could go either way. I, I, I can't even I, to think about it. I've been so focused and so I, I don't even know who's winning. I think with Yodeling Minx, Haley has turned the tide of this fight. Yes. And we're going to see if Justin Minx maybe took a round off here. Here we go. And let's see if she can come back in round number four. I think her oh, throat hey, hey, hey. is She's tired. Yeah, right now. Oh, nice jab, Minx, again. She's got to move her feet. She's got to move her feet. And you can see Haley getting frustrated by that big time land. Yes. As she continues to see from Minx. But again, adjust that entry instead of I coming straight in. I know it's in. the same because, entry. Because watch Minx start to time it, but look, oh, Haley's, Haley's going for it. Haley's going where for she it. needs her. Nice two jabs there for Minx. The right hand behind it. Now she's walking oh, down, Haley. Yes. Hooks. Left hook, right hook. Oh, big, big, big right is pushing hand. is big. She's marbled left hand. Oh. 
Hailey tries to turn. It's over. Oh, it's over. Stopped it. Wow. Oh, stopped That's it. a minx. Wow. With the victory. Wow. This crowd is going wow. wow. Oh, wow. my goodness. TKO stoppage in the fourth round for just a minx. She put that Irish fighting spirit to work and absolutely came forward with backhands, forehands. Yeah, oh, she was just throwing her hand anyway. Oh, good. Was the arsenal. Wow. Because she was leaning forward, is she falling into her shots? And they were landing it with so much heavier. Wow. What a fight. The crowd goes wild. What do you think about the stoppage? Do you think it might have been too early or reasonable? She did take a lot of shots. The referee in between rounds did visit Yodeling Haley just to see what the corner was thinking heading into number four. There's no standing eight counts. That's the tricky part. Right. Of it. And, I, and we could have maybe seen a standing eight. Again, right. What I think the referee saw there at the end was Yodeling Haley turned just a bit. The right hand turned her and she kind of turned her back just yep. a bit. And then the left hook followed. Yes. The referee said, I've seen enough. Correct. We're going to stop it here. You could argue, yes, that Yodeling Haley deserved the standing eight. But I'll tell you something right now the crowd is standing for an effort that she put on. The pace, Definitely. the pressure, the comeback in the third round. This was what a way to start our female fighting. What a war. The referee has stopped the match with 50 seconds left in round four. Here is your winner by TKO, Just a Mix. Congratulations. Minx, congratulations. You were saying before that your dad said he would disown you if you got knocked out. What would you like to say to him now? Well, look at that dad. I'm coming back to Ireland. <laughs> now, your opponent put up a hell of a fight. There was moments where it really could have gone either way. What do you think gave you the edge? Um, She's always terrified me since the start. She's a little mystery. Um, she was why. She was absolutely terrifying. Um, but honestly, I think it was the laxatives that I had beforehand. I was like, I want to get over because I want to shit myself. You know, for the win. Um, I want to thank my dad, my mom, my crew over there, my cats. I can't even think right now, man. I can't fucking think. But well, one last question. Are we going to see you box again? Oh, I'd love to box again. Uh, anywhere. Someone get me as an undercard. I'll trade more. I won't take that many hits. <laughs> well, Mings, congratulations. What a fight, guys. Incredible. We want to talk about a, a fight to open up female content creator boxing. I don't think you're going to find oh, one better than this one. Right Look at these hands. shots. The power Heavy. of Minx was just on a different level. And like you said, Sensei, the fact that Haley kept moving into the punches just made him that much stronger. When you cause a collision, she was colliding into those yep. shots, and that usually causes a lot more damage, can double the damage, because she wasn't moving away from it. Moving I definitely right feel it. Haley was the more technical fighter throughout yes. most of the fight, but it just didn't matter when it came to power. Unbelievable fight from both these ladies. A lot of dog in their, I cannot, in their fight style. I cannot tell you guys how important that fight just was yes. for content creator boxing. Unbelievable stuff. And again, for Justin Minx, she said it in the ring. She wants to do this again. Yes. So the people that are out there, the Irish last kicker is waiting in wait. All right, folks, and of course, why we are here, Creator Clash, this is a charity event, and let me tell you a little bit about the Alzheimer's Association. It's a global organization working to advance care, support, and research across the world, from face-to-face -face support to online education programs and promising worldwide research incentives. All money raised will be used to provide care and support to all those facing Alzheimer's and drive research toward treatment, preventing, and ultimately, a cure. A portion of the money raised today will go towards supporting the Alzheimer's Association's longest day program.
darkest day is the day with the most light, the summer solstice. On June 21st, help us stand up to the darkness of Alzheimer's by raising funds for the care, support, and research efforts of the Alzheimer's Association. It's easy. Pick any activity you enjoy and turn it into a fundraiser to fight Alzheimer's. From bowling to basketball and card games to crafts, any activity can be part of the longest day. Your family, friends, colleagues, and the Alzheimer's Association are here to support you along the way. Together, we can get closer to our ultimate goal, the first survivor of Alzheimer's. The day with the most light is the day we fight. Start now. Select your activity at alz.org slash the longest day. The Longest Day! <laughs> Fellas, um... <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. Wow. I cannot believe the amount of excitement, the amount of damage being dealt in these fights. And again, folks at home, you're not going to see a better debut for female content creation boxing. Charlie, just the, the energy off that fight, the crowd, oh. it felt like the ground was going to erupt. Oh, I thought it was an actual earthquake for a minute. When Minx came out, the crowd just went wild. I'm Insane. pretty sure everyone was out of their seats. And she put on an incredible show. She ate a ton of punches, but was delivering some actual meat out there, and that ultimately sealed it. The meat delivery was special made for Yodeling Haley, but Sensei, talk to me about a little bit of the technique that went into Justin Minx getting this victory. Yeah, she, she was bigger, and Haley wasn't able to figure out her timing and to make uh, Minx miss. She yep. couldn't make her miss, and she was running into those shots. If she was falling away from the shots at yep. times, you know, turning her head or falling away, she, it would have been a better time in there and having a chance, but she, she was technically pretty good. The yep. footwork was solid. She had, you know, that she was bladed, right? Behind the jab, right? behind the jab and bladed. Um, I wish I saw that fight go a little bit longer, yep. right? I thought Haley was doing better as the rounds, you know, but she did take a lot of damage there. Yep. Um, but again, Haley's so unassuming. We didn't know what she was going to get from her. Definitely sandbagged because completely she, she sandbagged got some game. She got some game there. She absolutely did. But moving on from that fight again, we keep saying it, guys. But I don't know if we can get any better. But then we have Hundara Muscle Party. You want to talk about muscles on muscles, Charlie? This guy looked like he eats protein for every meal of the day. I mean, just look at this picture right now. He's just a scary guy. That looks like a guy that would beat you up and take your lunch money. But not only that, he's fighting AB from the H3 podcast. Listen, we know H3, they do it big over there. This guy is not any stranger to the big lights, to the big scene. And he's not a small guy either. I met him last night. He is a pretty big boy, and I do think it's going to be a competitive match. Well, speaking of big boys, Hundar warming up right now. I mean, look at that face. Oh. Look at those muscles. I'm, 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 watch out, I don't want to get hit by those shots. <laughs> Jesus. Here we go. I was super stoked when I heard that I was fighting AB from the H3H3 H3 podcast. Unsurprisingly, most YouTubers are not necessarily interested in being punched in the face. When I started, uh, it was pretty bad. The transition from weightlifting to boxing, when you're just like kneeling in a pool of your own sweat, you're like, oh, this is what it's actually like. I'll tell you, you may think you're in shape, but once you start boxing conditioning, it's just like all of your preconceptions go out of the window. Like, oh, maybe I actually wasn't in shape. Oh my God. <laughs> I know AB is training hard. I'm training hard. The best way I can show respect to AB, to my coaches, to the time I put in here is just to bring my A game, put on a really entertaining fight. Despite the fact that I like him, I'm just gonna do my best to win the fight and be a good competitor for him. It's just you. It's just you versus another person trying to hurt you and it's just your willpower versus theirs and the preparation you've done versus the preparation they've done and that's it. We are here with the muscle party himself, Hundar. He uh, very clearly did not have to try hard to add on some muscle for this event. A lot of his training consisted of technique and uh, learning how to box, is that right? I had to lose like 20 pounds, dude. Yeah. <laughs> AB started off as a, as a, a light guy, and I was, uh, I think I was like 205, so I had to drop down to 186 to fight him. So, lost a lot of muscle. But, lost a lot of muscle? Yeah, I mean visually. Yeah. But it's all the, you still have the muscle memory. Yeah, that's right. And I gained some speed, some accuracy. Um, it's pretty good. So. 
There you go. Incredible, incredible. He's going to go out there, and he's going to do some work today. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. It's hard to talk with a mouth guard in. Anybody else complain about that? No, most people actually take it out. Oh, I, I can't. <laughs> it's stuck in my mouth. <laughs> and they tied, that, they tied the gloves to my hands. Help! <laughs> okay, we're going to go ahead and send you out there. <laughs> Guys, it's, it's all smiles right now from Hundar. Uh, it, I'm liking the cape slash jersey. He's kind of looking like a badass cape crusader. Uh, but I'm going to tell you something. Those muscles do not lie. He's been working hard for this fight. And again, you heard him say he had to drop 20 pounds. Yeah, and that's not easy at all. And you're right. He is looking like a character out of the DC universe right now. say fellas the look quickly changed a lot of smiles and I don't know how to get these gloves off that man didn't want to take those gloves off he's in this moment and I'm telling you something there's a little bit of venom behind this fight yeah he's coming in here with an attitude it looks like yeah, actually absolutely he went from all smiles to like all business real quick that song came on and a flip switched in his head just like a winter soldier episode and I'm telling you something Sensei, that cape is nice. It looks, it looks cool. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I, I can tell there was a lot of effort put into it. But wait till that cape comes off, no. and wait till what's underneath. Shred City. I, lost I might venture 20 to say pounds, he said he lost 20, 20 pounds. 20 pounds. And again, can affect you as a fighter. Correct. Depending on, and we know these these fighters have all taken the time, the dedication to do this properly. But coming down 20 pounds is never easy. Correct. And folks, you see A.B., the crowd behind him, those punches with fury. He is a member of the H3 podcast, but tonight he is the star killer. My name is A.B. The most people just know me as A.B. from H3. I will be fighting Brett Hundar Hunley from Kaucha. If I missed out on this opportunity, I would never be able to live wondering what if. And I've been training ever since. I have gone through hell. It's a miracle I haven't broken my nose yet. I always want to put myself in uncomfortable situations and see what I'm capable of. I want a reminder to not get comfortable. And there's nothing more uncomfortable than being punched in the face repeatedly. You never know what you're going to get in sparring. You do great one day, you do great two days in a row, and then you just go the next day and get your coffee. And it's just beating out of you. I did get I did get lucky though with one uppercut. Yeah? One. Yeah, just one. Good. He got you with the uppercut? Yeah. Rate his power on a, um, from one to ten. One. One. Okay, so not too much damage. <laughs> no, no. But don't count me out just yet, okay? I've been in a few fights in my life. So help me God, if I see one more comment that says AV is the door, I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> We are here with AB Star Killer, and he looks just like a killer right now. And is Teddy Fresh? How do you feel? Feel great. Feel great. I'm very happy to have this Teddy Fresh rep the Fupa Troopers, the Foot Soldiers. Appreciate you guys. Pop of us. There you go. You put on a ton of weight. Put on a ton of muscle in the last six months. You've been training. A lot of weight. I don't know about a lot of muscle, but yeah, a lot of weight. A lot of weight. About 10 to 15 pounds. Yeah. Okay. Well, you're looking good. You're looking good. He, he was the uh, H3 heartthrob of 2021. He's got to keep up the, uh, the reputation there. Yes, hopefully tonight I can do that. That's what this is all for, just for that title. It's all for the 2022. All right, good luck, man. And you heard it, guys. The heartthrob of the H3 podcast. He's going to have to use his heart for something else tonight. Yes. It's going to have to be to take it in there against this shredded machine of a man, Hundar, and come away with a victory. You know, I've been trying to gauge these fights by looking at them and their like walkouts and their demeanor, but I've like been wrong every single time. It, you don't know what you're gonna get, so I'm interested to see how this one plays out.
And gentlemen, this is his one shot. His one opportunity yes. to get the job done. And, and listen, we haven't talked about it, but AB came up 15 pounds yep. to make this fight happen. You want to act like this guy's not ready? He's put his body through the ringer, just as Hundar has. Yep. We have two very dedicated, ready fighters in front of us. This one is going to be good, fellas. I'm telling you right now. By the way, Charlie, you're looking at those highlights. How's the blend there, I, you know? Oh, yeah, it's looking really nice right now. I see why he's the heartthrob, honestly. And an extra 15 pounds, I mean, that's only going to help. Sensei, am I pulling that off if I try to go blend like that? No. Uh, no, no. <laughs> I'm not the heartthrob. Now look at Hundar. I mean, that looks like a Viking warrior. That does look like a Viking warrior. The following, the following contest is a five-round, two-minute cruiserweight match. Introducing first, fighting in the red corner. He stands six feet tall and weighs 186.2 pounds. He's absolutely jack bro. He's the co-owner and executive producer of Cow Chop. He makes videos on his YouTube channel, Muscle Party. Introducing Brent Hundley. And his opponent, the blue corner. He stands five foot ten inches tall and weighs 180.4 pounds from Dearborn, Michigan. He works on the H3 podcast and his own YouTube channel called Star Killer. He's the official H3 heartthrob of 2021. A B Star Killer. -A All right, boys. Referee's instructions, as you see, intensity in both guys' eyes. We're ready to go here. I'm looking forward to seeing this first 30 seconds. I have a feeling it's going to get wild quickly. We're going right. to find out how this fight is going to go. I predict Hundar comes out with like an incredible combo right away. I think he just tries to put it to bed immediately. Round one, double glove touch. You see feints already from AB. Yep, I like the jab to the body. Oh, oh nice jab. jab. Quickness, right hand landed. Nice jab again. Hundar a little fidgety. Yes. A little nervous, you can see. Not really moving his feet. I like the footwork. I like the footwork from AB. And again, look at that. Catches the jab. Jab to the body goes again. Hundar with a nice jab as well. You see the swatting from yeah, Hundar. The swat. He's using the feints. Get him to overreact a bit. Oh, big jab Ooh. lands there from Hundar. Yep. I like AB's game plan here. He seems to be on the outside. Wants to it's stick nice. to Wants to box a little bit more. Yes, yes, I like this. We're getting a patient boxing match to start us off, folks. There's the, the first big swing of the match right there. Those eyes from Hundar are just scary. Piercing. Nice jab to the body. I mean, Hundar looks like the god of war. He does. <laughs> he does. Yeah. Really does. Ooh, nice jab nice there. Nice jab there from AB. The crowd gets behind him. And again, you're seeing a patient. AB circling. Hundar yeah. kind of planning in the middle of the ring here and just a big swing there. Poised to stay there. He says, move me. I think AB needs to continue his game plan of sticking and moving. Yes, yes, 100%. You know, when you have those muscles, the one downside is that you can tire, you can gas out. Hunter's not using a lot of energy, though, so he's Staying trying to be right concerned. In the middle of the ring. Nice jab. Again, you're seeing AB, though, get kind of caught in these exchanges yes. where he needs to continue moving. And again, we're seeing him stand right in front of Hundar. Oh, oh. big left hand. And Hundar well, acknowledges Hundar, it, I think, I think but Hundar right. lands a, light, a right hand as well. Snuck that in there. The jab of Hundar is, is frustrating. AB's chin is popping up when he's bit. punching. Yeah. Yeah, his hands are dropping, and he's got to keep his chin down and protect himself. I like how he's jabbing and keeping his head offline. There it is, end of the round. Tough one to call, fellas. Yeah, it was pretty close all around. I thought the movement from AB was really impressive, though. We did see a, a feeling out process for the first time, I think, tonight. Yeah. When I, think I about was going to say, this is probably the most technical round that we've seen from any fighter so far. Very professional, very buttoned up, and patient. What I want to see in this second round is who settles in. Yes. Right? Because we saw Hundar basically stay in the center of the ring and say, AB, come get me. Like, you're not going to move me unless you come forward. And AB circles around the outside. Someone is going to settle in here. And I think we're going to see things open up a tad bit here in round two. Yeah, I like AB's jab. Yes. His left hook is a, a little bit wild. Yep. Slaps with it, but 
I think he has this, a good right hand, and he has to kind of keep his chin down. Yeah. You know, his chin is up. Like, that can be dangerous. Absolutely. You know, Hondar's a strong guy. All right, here we are, round two. Round number two. Close round one. Let's see what happens here. Let's see if Hundar decides to turn it up a little bit. Yeah. I think the fight might change if he decides to put some pressure. Yeah, and again, you see a little bit of the happy feet from Hundar. Here we go. Big left hook. Oh, there it is. AB lets one fly. Oh, now we're opening right up a little hand. bit. That now was we're going to open up a little bit here. Might have been a tad bit of head yep. clash. AB we felt that one. Again, Hundar sticks the jab. Yeah, yeah. Hundar nice oh, left hook again from AB. Yep. Hundar's moving his feet a little bit more. Yep. Starting to faint. Nice jab. AB lands and he circles. Problem is, AB circling toward that big power yes, right hand. That right hand, correct. To the body. And you can tell AB is a little uncomfortable with the shots landing. Yep. He's turning his head a bit. Absolutely. Tur Stings the jab to the body. He's there, though. Yeah. He's there. Those are getting this in. Those are scoring fight. shots. Absolutely. And again, we're looking at a professional. We see a smile from AB. I saw he's that, yeah. Having fun here. He's enjoying we're himself. It, we're seeing these two emulate a strategic boxing match. These two are going in, not trying to just ooh, throw and, and brawl. We're seeing boxing on display. He's seeing a bit of Hondog personality here. They're both <laughs> having a good time in there. You're hearing twist his dick from the crowd out oh, here now. That's what, that's what, that's what it is? Yeah. Oh, my god. Twist goodness. his dick. A twist his dick <laughs> chant comes out. Don't think we'll be seeing any of that, but that left hook lands. Yes. Jab again from Hundar. Hundar sticking his tongue out at him. At I'm AB. telling you, another jab. Oh, AB swinging wild. It. You can tell AB got a little stung on that one. You can yeah. see it in his eyes. He felt that. Faints from Hundar with the feet. The jab behind that. AB backing himself into a corner here, maybe unknowingly. Hundar's not big moving. right hand. Not moving. He's not moving. But AB, I think AB needs to throw a good combination instead of just one. There we go, like that. Maybe just to, just to alleviate a little bit. Yes, because Hundar is standing there and he's catching all the shots. There is round two, fellas. Round two. And, and again, we look at Hundar here and AB. AB does seem to be very movement oriented. Hundar yes. taking control of the center of the ring and, and by doing so, taking control of this fight a little bit. You see these jabs. And again, they're not landing as cleanly in some cases, but right. again, the volume. The action that he brings right there. Again, a lot of swings from Ace-3, but that jab lands clean. And Ace-3 having a hard time. AB is having a hard time finding his range now. Yes. Ooh, Charlie, what do you see? So I'm thinking maybe the strategy from uh, Hundar here is just let AB tire himself out because yeah. he's moving around so much. He's out there working maybe twice as hard as Hundar is right now. For sure. And I'd say it's still a pretty even fight. I agree. It, it looks like... Hundar, again, being poised in the middle of the ring, but AB throwing some of these bigger shots. One gets through, Sensei, and this changes yeah, the fight. it does. I like that jab of the body. AB's going to get AB's back AB's jab of the body is very nice. Those do count. Those Absolutely. Do count. Those are scoring shots. Whether they land clean or they're landing, lancing shots, those are scoring shots. Another jab to the body. Ooh, right hand left. That right hand. Woo! And Hundar That's stares him yes. down. Referee gives the standing eight. AB says, I'm OK. And just like that, as we said, one of these big shots lands at this weight, and things change in a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. Here we go once again. You see how AB responds to this. Absolutely. He's smiling, though. He's I was smiling. Say, absolutely, he's back in there. Oh, nice jab again from Hundar, and he smiles at him. AB Ooh, answers, good though. Answer. Oh, good answer. Oh, man! Drops on him! Oh, we got ourselves a good. fight! We got a fight and here! And the crowd comes alive just like that. AB drops Hundar with a big right hand. I was telling you, he was standing still. Hundar's not moving. He wasn't moving off of those. They touch it up, and folks, we got a barn burner here in round number three. Is One minute left. Yes. Let's see if Hundar starts using his footwork. He's moving his feet. Big right hand. Oh, oh, big oh, turns oh, oh. Little wobbly there. Little wobbly there. Jab from Hundar. And the right ball. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, big right the hand. Throw the right. kitchen sink at him. Oh, that big hand. wings from AB. AB needs to keep moving. He needs to keep moving. Hundar's corner is yelling. AB's getting tired. He's getting tired. Yes, he is. He did a lot of power behind those shots. Hundar still, though, after that right hand dropped him, a little hesitant to go yes. into that range again. Yes. 
A lot of respect has been earned from both guys here in round number three. AB's in trouble because he's tired. He's getting there. Yeah, he is fast. The gas tank is empty and quick. Hundar, big oh, jab. Oh. Big Hundar shot. threw the double jab there, a two-handed jab. Oh, big, big left swing. hook. Big swing. big swing and a miss there. Last few seconds here, round number three. Hundar stalking AB into the corner. Is he going to unload something yep, in the round it? here? Doesn't look like it. Wow, Man. what a what? round. Oh, we got what a there. round. Just as it looked like Hundar was going to take control of this fight yes. and start to implement his will, AB said, nada. He said, no, sir. Hundar was doing a little bit of what we saw Woodley do against Jake Paul, standing and Absolutely trying to swat right. and catch. And I thought, AB, if he could just throw combinations. And look at this. AB goes down again. A glancing shot, yes. did drop him, maybe a little bit of a stumble there. But again, AB was recovered very quickly and lands that oh, one on the chain. Beautiful team. straight that right. Was the cleanest shot we've seen in the fight. Yow. Yeah, he really cranked that one from way downtown. He brought that from way back. That was all the way from the H3 podcast in Los Angeles. He brought that one to Southern Florida. And again. Maybe a little bit of false confidence there from Hundar. Yes. Because it was a little bit of an off-balance shot. Correct, correct. And AB maybe playing a little possum, comes back big right hand. Fourth round is anyone's fight, guys. Here we go. Let's see if AB has the, the gas tank to, to move his feet, because he has to use his footwork if he's going to try to land combinations, get in and get out. And what we are seeing, as you alluded to, is Ooh, a little bit nice of a pity jab. pat from Hundar as he's trying to defend shots. But AB is using both hands. He's using his jab right hand. Hundar sticking mostly behind his jab right yeah, now. Yeah, behind his left hand. Hundar is just standing there and defending now. He's landing the bigger shots, but, but the he is available. The AB is bringing at this moment might be the difference in this fight. AB has to get back to those feints. The guys got to, you know, now they're just throwing punches. They got to get back to using those feints. Looking for opportunities, looking for that right hand. We're just getting right hard there. for him this late into the fight. Yeah, we're round number four. The gas tanks are holding up for both guys. Oh, right hand. AB sneaks a right hand. Oh, a did two he right hands. I don't know, I couldn't see. I don't know if AB took one in there as well. A minute left here, round number four. But AB, the fatigue is, is setting settling in, quickly, in, yes. Quickly. Hundar's trying to Big stalk him down. Big left hook there. Jab from AB. So he hurt his arm. Yep. He hurt the you jab saw hand. A, yep. There was a yep. tangle in there. Yeah. I mean, that was a full extension right there. Now look at this. Hundar yeah. in the corner. Big right hand. Stalking. That's going to that's gonna score. Lands on the gloves, but Ooh, that's going to score right again. Yep. Oh, big left hook. AB answers. Tries to go swing. Big flurry here. there. Hundar says, I'm not quite done, son. 30 seconds left. Round number four. Hundar on the front oh, foot. Big Hundar. 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 Humbar, he might smell blood in the water. Yes, he does. Oh, we got a Spoke clinch. from AB. AB comes forward with a clinch, tries to buy himself some time. 19 right. seconds here. Can AB make it out this round? Hundar, big oh, right hand. big right land. hand. A lot of power. Hundar looking to stalk forward. Last few seconds of the round. Big jab. Jab. Right hand to the body. Wow. And again. A competitive round. Yes. A competitive round. I think Hundar really started to, again, find a home for that right hand. Not maybe behind the setup, but behind the pressure. Yes. AB has almost, it seems like, nothing left in that tank. Yeah, he's just running out of energy right now, and Hundar can just take advantage of it. He's yeah, starting he's... to sense it, and he's backing himself into the ropes. And Hundar continues to double up on the right hands. Boom, behind the guard. Beautiful yeah, shot. Combination. And again, for AB, coming up on our fifth and final round, Sensei, what's he got to do to pull this out? He's got to use his footwork in and out, and he's got to feint. He, Humbar is there. He is there. He's available to be hit. Um, whenever um, H3 is going for that combination, right, his head is up and he's just swinging. He's not looking for to land those shots. If he, if he tries to pinpoint a shot, I think he can land something significant. But five rounds, I got to say something. I'm impressed with all these guys' first five fights. Yep. Doing five rounds is incredible. If you're AB's corner here, you have to implore him to move forward. It can't be any more circling at this point. You're going to have to take an opportunity to get into the fire. And he does so. Nice but he body body. Big the left body. hook, but he answers with one of his yes. own, does Hundar. And now Hundar with a right hand, but Ooh. AB's fighting out of it. Big right Big hand, right Hundar. Hand around, the, around the guard, but AB. And now we're swinging. These guys got some fight in them. Absolutely. I, I thought we might have seen the end of the gas tank, but AB said, not so fast. I am the star killer after all. 
I have a little more left to give. Hundar battering coming forward. Up. Nice right hook oh, to the bottom. God. And AB covers up, flurries his own. Oh, right hand, Hundar to the body heavy again. Run. Heavy right hand. And when you're this gas, those body shots, they start to add up. They take that breath even further away. Referee says, get your head up. AB is tired. He's leaning on it, big right hand to the body Ooh. there. And the referee waves it off. Oh, wow. That seems like a questionable stoppage, but I couldn't really see. Yeah, you know, uh, he, he wasn't punching there. Yeah. yeah, just covering up. And he did see AB kind of lean into Hundar and not really defend yes. four or five straight unanswered punches. Fifth um, round and trying to protect him. Wow. Wow. Hundar with the fifth round TKO stoppage. And again, guys, it was a, it was a battle of forward pressure yes. versus trying to alleviate that. AB had a shining moment in the third. After, of course, being knocked down, he bit down on that mouthpiece. He said, you know what? I'm here. Here's a right hand for your troubles. But credit to Hundar. He takes the right hand. He gets up off the canvas here's and the continues finish here. to come forward throughout the fight. It just looked like AB wasn't throwing any punches. He was just covering I mean, up. You can see it right here. Every yeah. time there's yes. a shove away from the clinch, there's that big, deep breath, and he's just putting the head in the chest. And it bends over at the waist, and the referee says, "I've seen enough." You know, if you're if you don't if you're looking for a way out, if you're not fighting, the referee has stopped the match at 55 seconds left in round five. The winner by TKO, Brett Hundar Hundley. Hundar, congratulations. It seemed like at the beginning of this fight, you were starting out as the underdog, but as it progressed, you won over the crowd. Is there anything you'd like to say to them? Was that true? Was I the underdog? <laughs> what inspired you to do this fight? Uh, to challenge myself, encourage anybody out there who wants to conquer their own stuff. Nothing's gonna stop you. Age, you know, injuries, anything you think's holding you back, it's, a lot of it can just be overcome in your head. I'm getting a little too inspirational right now, but I've just been punched in the head uh, quite a few times. Well, your opponent. Your opponent, AB, you put up a hell of a fight. Is there anything you'd like to say to him? Nothing but respect to my opponent. He didn't fucking make it easy from the get-go. Some of my things I usually rely on were, were trouble for me. And so and he held in there. Five rounds, baby. Five rounds, baby. Let's go. Let's go, bro. Thank you for this war, brother. Congratulations. Guys, what Hunnard just said right there, I don't think we're appreciating this enough. These five round boxing matches, two minutes per round, we've seen this in other lesser content creator boxing exhibitions. Yes. And these are full on matches. And where guys can, are, are yeah. not only holding their own, but doing so round after round. Gas tank holding up. I'm, I'm thoroughly De impressed. Debuts to do five rounds is incredible. Absolutely. As we take a look, I mean, it was just pure, absolute madness between the two of them. And AB, like I said, he gave everything. I think AB surprised quite a few people. I think people thought that Humphrey would, would, would take the fight a little sooner. Folks, like we've alluded to throughout the broadcast, Creator Clash is officially sponsored by Fansly.com. Support for Creator Clash is brought to you by Fansly.com, a spicy social media platform that allows you to message and see more of your favorite content creators. Sign up at Fansly.com today, instantly using your Twitch, Twitter, or Google account. Thank you to Fansly.com for supporting as the official sponsor of Creator Clash. And gentlemen, it's been a whirlwind of fights tonight. Ridiculous. Starting off, I mean, there couldn't have been something to get you ready for a night of big fights like that left hand from Dad. Dad just came out here and made an immediate statement and an impact on the entire tone of the rest of the night, really. A full-on, nuts-to-butts attack on Matt Watson. And speaking of nuts to butts, this was balls to the wall. Back and forth from Ryan McGee and Alex Ernst. This was a war. It's incredible. You know, we just had these recent fights. I forgot about how great these fights have been. <laughs> I'm watching the replays now going, that's right, we had this. And 
every one of these fights could be like a fight of the night. Right? Absolutely. Every single one. It's so, so incredible. We've been spoiled. I mean, those two guys left everything, but we weren't done because right after that, we had internet comment etiquette taken on DJ Welch. And again, props to both guys for getting in. DJ Welch proved to be the better boxer at this moment. They said possibly down the line we may see a rematch here. And that'd be really exciting. I'd love to see that come back around. And then, my goodness gracious, we might have been introduced, wow. folks, yes, a to one of the next contenders in this creator boxing content scene. Jab, oh, right yeah. hand right. down the oh, pipe. Man. There just was never a time where Alex wasn't commanding the pace of that fight. And again, commends to the odd ones out for getting in, but his name is I Did A Thing, and tonight he definitely he did, did put he his did name his thing. on the map. Yes. And fellas, we oh, weren't done. Man. We were not done. This was, again, I, I keep saying it, but female creator oh, that right boxing was introduced to a one, one for the ages. This will be talked about years from now in this scene as the fight that started it all for female content boxing. And both of these girls are going to be females to beat. You know, both of them Legendary. are Legendary, already at the top tier. Mink says she's doing it again. So does Haley. Yes. I cannot wait to see him again. And then our fight that we just had a round three for the ages. Look at the jabs from AB. Started off the fight really well, circling around. And again, yow oh, on the temple. And, and again, knockdowns. In the third round, yep. we trade knockdowns. Credit to Hundar for getting up off the canvas and putting it to AB. He comes out your victor. What an amazing card. You know, had. we haven't seen, we have not seen a lot of clinching, which is insane. Shocking. Because you see that with new fighters, and then if these go five rounds and they're fatigued, they weren't even clinching when they were tired. They're just biting down their mouth pieces and just going for broke. Just they're just bombs. throwing. Who do you throwing. guys think so far tonight has been the most impressive that oh, we've seen? Charlie, you go first. You it's go got, first. It's got to be I did a thing. Alex just looks like a fighter. He performed like a fighter. There was nothing in there. Like, if you came in just off the street, you'd be like, oh, I'm looking at a professional fighter. For sure. I mean, he, he was the sharpest. I mean, his, his technique, he didn't miss on a thing. He just super clean, super clean finish. And not only that, we still have three fights coming up. We have Graham Stephan. We have Michael Reeves, yes. folks. Oh, man. This yes. fight is going to get the crowd on their feet once again. And I'm telling you, fellas, these two, while they're interesting, while they're amazing content creators, we're about to see a different side of them right now. So this is the fight I've been most excited about. I've been saying for weeks that Michael Reeves is a demon, and I think tonight he's just going to come out and go <laughs> wild. I really do. Now listen, Sensei, Graham Stephan will give you advice with your financials. He is a guru after all, Okay. a real estate mogul. But can he take up some space in this ring That's and come name. out with some rent due from Michael Reeves we after don't know, landing we those don't shots. know about these guys. Like, I, I, I don't know them personally. So again, I don't know what I'm going to see. And I'm excited about it. I'm excited. And then we had Graham stepping from last night. Again, the build on Graham. Very compact for that size, yes. right? And we're going to see that power, I think, displayed. And again, we saw both guys be a little. Are those the? Nipples cut out of that shirt. <laughs> and then they're kissing each other. What? What? Am I what? Okay. Well. That's boxing, baby. Guys, we are here with Graham Stephan, and he has invested so much time, so much effort, and he's ready to go public on a can of whoop ass on Michael Reeves. How do you feel? Wow, great puns. I'm Thank impressed you. by those jokes. Thank you. That's Thank great. You. That's great. I'm really excited right now. I was really nervous going into it, but uh, I feel good. It's awesome, man. I'm really excited to see you go out there and uh, uh, to see how you're going to force your way into it. Oh, definitely. Me too. And uh, I've been training a lot for this, and it's exciting everyone showed up for this. So uh, we'll see what happens. That's awesome, man. Good luck, dude. Thank you're you gonna so kill much. It. Thank you. Thank you. And like we said, guys, he's a real estate Good mogul. Time. He's invested a lot of time into <laughs> I stole, I stole s yes, I'm not, yes. I can't help it. But we're going to see exactly again how much time, how much effort these guys put in. And I'm telling you right now, a completely different side of your favorite creator is about to happen. And 
as you see, Ram's a man of the people. He's probably made most of the people he's given fist bumps to thousands of dollars. <laughs> thousands of dollars. I mean, listen, if I had any of that knowledge, expertise, I'd be owning some lakefront property out in Arizona somewhere. I don't Seriously. know if that's how it works, but <laughs> anyway, he's, it looks like he's ready to go. He, he's in this moment. He's feeling this crowd. Obviously, there's going to be some jitters, and I think you can see a little bit of that on the face of Graham here, but I do think that both these guys are going to show the work they put in. I wonder if we're going to see more footwork because of the smaller stature. We're going to see more movement than we've seen the other well, Speaking of the movement, now look here. Oh, boy. Michael Reeves, the demon himself. That's him. This guy is a fiend. I'm telling you right now, he probably augmented his arms to be like significantly stronger. He's like a good match. We're pretty like similar in everything, actually. Yeah. yeah. Same height, same build. Why did you agree to that? <laughs> so, Why so, did you agree to that? <laughs> <laughs> it's fun so far. Like it's it's a good excuse to like exercise and it's interesting. Yeah. It's fun to hit a pad, fun to hit a bag. It's a back leg. It's just like a back leg stanky leg kind of thing. My initial reaction, I was at like a shoot thing with William Osman Idaho's was there, and he was like, I don't want to do this boxing match. Immediately I just blurted out, yes, of course. Yeah. And that was it. That was that sealed the Deal. Let's go, Reeves. A lot of yeah. weird things you don't expect, for sure, like yeah. defensive stuff. Like, I've watched boxers' YouTube videos, yeah. and I don't know how the, they can, like, see where the punch is gonna come from and, like, choose a defensive option. Like, how do you know, like, to pull back or go side to side? Like, it's such a fast yeah. thing for a punch to come out. Guys, we are here with Michael Reeves. He is gracing us with our presence. How do you feel? Pretty good. I'm not so bad. I was pretty nervous earlier, but I'm, I'm all right now. Then they slathered me with Vaseline, so I feel, feel a lot more slick. Yeah, more oily. Yeah, you're looking real slick. You really, really are. So you've been trying hard. You've been working hard. You, I mean, you really got nothing to be nervous about. You've been, you've been working really, really hard for this event. Well, yeah, I've been doing kind of a fucking lot. Yeah, yeah, it's been really tough ignoring all of my YouTube responsibilities to do this, so, so uh, hopefully, yeah. Very impressive, very impressive how little work Michael has done on his YouTube for his training, so. It's tough, it's tough. It really takes, it really takes a special kind of person to do that kind of ignoring, so. It really does take a special kind of person, and that is why you are ready to go fight right now. Good luck, dude, you're gonna kill it. Oh, fellas. That crowd is building. That energy is building. Yep, they've even got a, they got a Michael Reeves uh, tent, I think. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but it's a, you know, it's an interesting gesture I just saw yeah, there. Some kind of space object. I don't yeah, really I think know. that was like a, a friendly reminder that he's about to come in and uh, fly like a bird. I think. Yeah, maybe that's probably what it was. Every time I see a smile, it just makes me think these guys are going to be. Now I know they're going to come out super intense. Yeah. Here we go. Here. We go. Yes, sir. The crowd just erupted like a volcano that he would experiment on. Unbelievable <laughs> stuff right there. This wow. walkout song is pristine. It's, it's the best. It's so good. It's the best. <laughs> I, I almost jumped up out of my seat, man. Wow. Oh, oh, man. Wow. This is the energy you get. This is electric, man. From the Creator Clash and nowhere else. Folks, we have our in-ring introduction of the fighters. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest will have you have five two-minute rounds in the lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting in the red corner. He stands five foot three inches tall and weighs 127 pounds. From Las Vegas, Nevada, he's an American real estate agent and YouTuber who's famous for his videos about financial independence, investing money, saving money, and investing in real estate. Now he's invested in boxing. Graham Stephan! And his opponent fighting out of the
the blue corner. He stands five foot three inches tall and weighs 121 pounds from Los Angeles, California. He's a YouTuber and Twitch streamer best known for his comedy tech YouTube videos. He's a member of Offline TV, a professional Fortnite player, and Dream SMP nominee. Give it up for Michael Reeves! This crowd's collective voice says we want Reeves. But Graham Stephan has something to say about that, fellas. Tell me what you think. This is a lighter weight class. What do we expect here? I'm telling you right now, Michael Reeves is coming out swinging, firing on all cylinders. There is no chance he doesn't just step on the gas immediately right out the gate. Well, I don't see cardio being an issue. I think like a lot of punches being thrown. Here we Blank. go. Round number one. Jabs right away from Michael Reeves. Graham as well. Graham is coming forward. Tries the double jab his way in. He's landing those. Oh. Nice right hand to the body from Michael. The volume Down to the Graham. There's a volume from Graham. Pressure from Grant Stephan. Look at that. We see a nice check left hook that backs off Graham just a bit. Right hand to the body. Stephan. The crowd is cheering him on. The crowd is just cheering on it Michael right now. It is deafening. But Graham goes two to the body. And we trade jabs. Now, what you're seeing from Graham, though, here is he's chasing Ooh, Michael yes, around the he string. Is. He's not cutting that ring off. I like how they're picking shots, working to the body. Nice right hand from Graham. A lot of pressure here from Graham. Michael's still trying to develop that rhythm. You can see those rhythm steps. Nice jab to the body, Michael yep. Reeves. Again, look at the head movement as he comes in. Look nice at that work. down to the body. Hook to the body, Michael Reeves. Another yes. one. We also hear a familiar chant from the crowd. <laughs> the nice double jab. Triple. Oh, right hand, Michael right Reeves. Hand. That's a big response right there. Yes, it is. And it's Grant's doing a good job of masking his, his entrance. He's doubling up his jab as he walks in. It's not just behind nothing, but nice jab. Oh, Reeves. Right clean. Three jabs Ooh. from Michael Reeves. And Grant acknowledges all three. Reeves, Another one. He tends to have some power. He does. Those jabs are snapping. And Every time Graham gets hit, he turns that head away yes. from the action. You don't want to see that. Nice. I like how he's High sliding the, the body. Jab to the body. Very oh, nice. Another jab landed. You can tell that Michael Reeves has right put hand. some absolute time into his skill here. Look at this. Look now Grant comes forward. Shot to the body, Reeves. Very, very, wow. very that was a interesting great first round. round. A lot of movement, right? A lot yep. of footwork, a lot of punches. Still a lot of doubling up the jab from Graham Stephan. Again, these are smart fighters. They're smart guys. So they're taking this as an analytical, stylistic approach. You see Graham come in, double jab, triple jab triple. his way in. And that Boom. right hand, though. And again, the, the counter off of it. And you see right here in the corner, uh, Michael Reeves coach saying that right hand's landing. Yes, I was just going to say, He's finding a home for that right hand. He's got to throw it more often. When he's backing up and he's just, you know, slipping and bobbing and weaving, he's got to find a home for that right hand because uh, Rams is coming straight forward. Straight in. Straight in. I think that, the one thing Michael's done more than any other fighter right now is slip punches. They're yes. doing a great job he's of boxing. Bobbing. Yeah, bobbing about those high feints with the jab that come yeah, down, down low, working it. And again, you see, we're watching his coach right now in the corner say, listen, he's walking right on the punches. Step back, drive the right hand. And now, again, a fairly even round, more yes. volume from Graham, but again, even landing rate. The harder punches were landed by Reeves, definitely. Absolutely. Round number two, here we go. Nice jab, Michael Reeves. Graham comes in, nice right hand to the body. And he's trying to put that pressure and smother him. Oh! oh! Michael Reeves! Oh, felt that it's one. stunned him! Oh, it's stunned him, left hook to the it. body, Reeves is oh, going Reeves up. Reeves is throwing, he got some power with that right hand. Woo! Up. The heat behind that right hand, Graham Stephens going to have to throw he's something to get him to. off him. And he's he jabbing, not but he's not bringing his respect. hand back. He's not bringing his hand back. Big oh, hand, that, there. there it is. He's coming in the same pace, too, this jab, jab, jab. And all Michael Reeves is doing is waiting back, waiting yep. back, and then unloading that right hand right there after the jab elongates. Boom, right hand to the body. He's coming upstairs for the next one, Sentai. I'm telling you now. Yes. That overhand had some zip to it. If he lands that, we're going to see something, that's for sure. And again, you see Graham trying to work that jab on his way in. Big jab from Reeves as well. Now he throws out the left hook. 
Graham doesn't seem to have the power to gain I respect. I think, I think the right hand, not only in the first round, but here in the second, shocked Graham. Yes. And again, once you feel that, you're not as aggressively coming in with those shots and leaving yourself Ooh, open to jabs yes. like that is not how you do it. He's just finding so many openings right now. Last 30 seconds here in so round number two. Redness on Graham's face. That nose is starting to wear it, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Nice jab, he's, he's gonna come up again. on top. Yep. He's setting it up, there it, it is. is. There it is, oh. the right hand again. And again, it's just Graham walking right onto the shot. Oh. Michael Reeves, another, another one. Another one, another Referee's one. taking a close look, yes. big right hand. Yeah, and that that's it. is that's it. it. Yeah, that's it. Wow. wow. Michael Reeves. Yeah. There's that demon that's the you were talking about. That demon plays. you were talking about. I told about. you. I told you. He showed up in that second round. That demon yep. came out. The lid just came off the Yingling Center because he just opened up a can of whoop. I just took my headphones Something. off. I just took my headphones off. Like wow. Oh my gosh. No, I told you. Michael Reeves is a fucking menace. It just took him a minute to feel it out a little bit and then he just started to go in. I don't think there could have been a more accurate call than what you just gave us, Charlie. The man was a complete demon. Once he saw the opening for the right hand, and credit to his coaches in the corner, they found something that he went to in the first round that was not only working, but devastating. And they came right back to it. Power. The poise to land this oh, shot, right see hand. the shot land, and follow up. Continuous right hands, and, and you see Graham there saying it's over. It's over. Yeah, he's calling yeah, for it to be over. Done. A great stoppage from the referee yes. there. Graham knew that his time in the ring had come to an end. He wasn't gonna. He didn't have an answer for no. it. And there, it's and just gonna it keep was, happening. It was only going to get worse at that point. Let's go to our official winner. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has stopped the round at 148 in the second round. Here is your winner by TKO, Michael Reeves! Hello. Michael? Michael, congratulations. It was a hell of a fight. What was the hardest part about preparing for this? Um, ignoring responsibilities. That's tough. Um, if I did it, I mean, yeah. Maybe now I can make YouTube videos, so that'd be cool. Yeah. Maybe I'll work on that, yeah. I was working on one for this. I did a video to help me train. It'll come out someday. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. What inspired you to do this fight? Well, I, when Ian asked me, I, I was just like, no, in my head. But then I like shot back to like sixth grade watching iDubs. And I was like, that's too surreal of a moment. I just like blurted out yes. So, you know. Yeah. Fair enough. I think what we all want to know now is, are you going to be boxing again after this? Oh, fuck no! All right, let's give it up for Michael. I'm telling you, fellas, <laughs> that crowd, I mean, you hear it now. Incredible. You want to talk about a game changer. Michael Reeves just ignited the Yingling Center. And for his frame to have that much power, you don't usually see finishes at this weight, no. at this weight class. Not with the gloves either. We're still rocking 16s. Yeah. Wow. Down the pipe. I mean, look at this reaction. Look at those muscles. Every There's the muscle demon in this man's There's body. There's the demon, Charlie. Demon mode activated. I mean, that's pure raw adrenaline coming out of a fighter that just unlocked potential that I don't even know he had. That's just emotion right there. That man threw on the Sharing gun for the second round there at the end. He was just going in. It'd be a real shame if he doesn't fight again past this, but he'd retire an undefeated champion. <laughs> That's true. And again, you have to you have to respect the dedication that every fighter is putting into this, including Graham Stephan. Even though it didn't go his way, Michael Reeves just too much on the night. The amount of finishes for this event is incredible. You don't usually see this from like debuts and early fighters. And then talk about YouTube boxing. The amount of intense fights and amount of finishes we have tonight, incredible. And folks, we are here because Creator Clash is not a normal 
creator event. This is a charity event, and you see the Alzheimer's Association, the American Heart Association, the Healing Horse Therapy Center, all these fights brought to you on behalf of these charities and more. And folks, I'm not only here, you have Moist Critical, Charlie. You have Face Sensei. We are all here thanks to those charities. We have as well Chills, S Fan TV, some of the biggest creators in the ring and out. I am truly, truly honored and privileged to be here with you gentlemen and everybody on this team tonight. Thank you so much. It's honestly an honor to be here. It's been an incredible event so far. And to do it in my neck of the woods in Tampa is just super special. To yeah. see something like this unfold, this many people getting excited, it's just, it's amazing. Let me tell you something, as a fan of combat sports and a, and a participant of it, I watch combat sports all the time. Absolutely. And with events like this, sometimes you don't think you're gonna get a great show. And the finishes, the intensity, the boxing, it's just been incredible. I'm telling you, gentlemen, I keep saying it, but we have oh. more to go. Oh, oh, and oh, it's not just more, oh, folks. Boy. It is the heavyweights coming back to see us once again. And we have Harley from Epic Meal Time, yeah. Aaron from Game Grumps, and go ahead, Charlie, so talk to me. I, I met Harley for the first time last night. That man is outrageously huge. Like, ridiculously He's a huge. Monster. He's gonna take up this entire ring by himself. It is scary. I mean, you can see it in the weight differential between the two of them, but I think Aaron still has like a killer instinct. Maybe he's the better boxer, and maybe that's all it takes. Well, let's see. We're gonna go backstage to Aaron as he is warming up for this fight. Talk to me about that fit. Woo! I like, I like the drip on him. I would say give me a Ric Flair, woo, but it looks like he already has. <laughs> oh my goodness, that double jab, my goodness. A slow-mo as well. <laughs> my name is Aaron Hansen from Game Grumps and I'm fighting Harley from Epic Meal Time. I have to fight a giant and I don't like it, but I do like that I'm very good at boxing and Harley may not be. I'm glad that Ian asked me to be a part of this event because I really like punching people. Bah! I didn't know that because I had never punched somebody. But when I started punching people, I became addicted. I started punching everything. I'm gonna beat his face in. I'm gonna mash him like potatoes. I've only been eating chicken and vegetables and I'm tired of it. I want this fight to be over so that I can eat beer and drink beer. And I guess that's just how the cookie crumbles. God, I want a cookie so bad. Anyway, I really hope that I win this fight because I want to win and I like charity. I, I just think that fighting is cool and charities are nice. I hope you enjoy this fight. It's gonna be a good one. That was good. Yeah. Guys, we are here with Aaron. We're here with Ego Raptor. We're very, very excited to see him finally enter the ring. We're getting to the heavyweights. How do you feel? I'm feeling good, man. I'm locked in, you know? Just doing my best. You're looking locked in, you're looking good, you're looking sha in shape, you're looking fit. Oh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome, actually. That's very you're, kind. You're, just, you're very handsome in general. <laughs> Hold on a second. Well, I was just saying. Anyway, uh, what did you do for your training? What was the biggest point of emphasis in your training, getting ready for this fight? Um, I did a lot of boxing for my training, which was pretty intense. So where did you get that idea? Uh, a lot of people told me that that was probably the best way to go about training for boxing, so I got really good at it as a result. That's incredible. Good luck, man. You're going to kill it. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. I'm telling you right now, I've never seen snake skin or alligator skin or whatever that West Palm Beach, Florida pink getup is. But man, oh man, that is looking sharp. And he plans to do so in the ring. He's, he's going to have to. Look at that weight disparity, 50 plus pounds. Aaron's going to have to be sharp tonight because Harley is throwing meat. Cleavers. He's going to have to get this fight into the later rounds. He's going to have to. He's going to have to. That is a lot of weight. If you don't have a lot of power or something as an answer, you're in trouble. Folks, the Game Grumps are in full attendance. As you see Aaron make his walk to the ring, the people are behind him. 
Yeah, he's, look, he's looking like a Power Ranger out here. I right was going to say, the Pink Ranger yep. has assembled. And I'm telling you, it's a tough, it's a tall, no pun intended task for Aaron here. He said it in his intro. He's fighting a giant. He is fighting a giant. Can he be the David to Harley's Goliath? And here, folks, is that giant. Oh. Harley from Epic Mealtime. I, I ran into him in the hotel. There is a dangerous calmness about this man. It was almost eerie to watch how happy he was to go in and fight. That's terrifying. <laughs> it's pretty oh, scary. Boy. The short answer is I guess that's where the career is at. But I have to fight another YouTuber. And they're like, yeah, I see you're training hard. I'm like, yeah, I have a boxing match coming up. And they're like, you box? I'm like, no, I don't. This is what YouTubers are doing. Like some fat, nerdy, weird, sad version of gladiators. To get in the ring and battle for clout. <laughs> I'm gonna go in the ring and I'm gonna punch someone and get punched like I have no desire. Someone's gonna try and knock me out, so I can't think of better motivation. What better motivation for me to get my life under control again than the threat of being humiliated by getting knocked out by some loser YouTuber? No, I'm kidding. None of the guys are losers on this boxing card. Like, is Harley from Epic Mealtime gonna just go in wildly and do this? Where's that bell gonna ring and he, like, Superman punches Aaron from Game Grumps? Doing this for charity. He better not touch my baby. This is my baby. Guys, we are here with Harley from Epic Mealtime. He's looking wide, he's looking hard. Oh, man, this is gonna be a good one. How do you feel? I feel good. I think I'm going to go out there and really surprise people by how small my nipples are. I don't think they saw that coming, uh, but it's a big deal. It's going down. And, um, you know, I think about it. Uh, war. War never changes, but YouTube does. And I used to think that slime was the weirdest era of YouTube, but apparently the boxing is probably the most strangest era of YouTube. Absolutely. And I'm going to go ahead and ask you the one question on everybody's minds right now. How do you keep your nipples so small? It just happened. It's just a thing. Like, I find, like, if you think about your nipples too much, they grow, and I never think about them, so. Did something happen to your eye? Why are you wearing an eye patch? Well, I'm the sauce boss, so I thought I would go for a little big boss aesthetic right now. That's what's inspiring. It's what's inspiring me, so uh, I'm going to make shit happen. You know, I'm going to have fun out there. Did Aaron say he was going to kick my ass or something? Aaron said a lot of really nice things about you. He said you're a great guy. Uh, you, you have a fantastic YouTube channel. You're a legend on YouTube. I mean, one of the one of the uh, uh, pathfinders of the platform. What do you have to say about that? Uh, yeah, I'm a trailblazer. I've been blazing on trails since 2001. You know what I mean? And uh, I'm glad he said nice things. I want to go out there. I want to have fun. I want to have a good time. Um, if there is a chance that I'm a superior athlete than him, I'm not even going to fuck him up, you know? We're going to go out there, we're going to do our thing, and uh, at the end of all this, hopefully we fuck. That's not what I meant to say. Nah, I'm kidding, it is. Yeah, nice, nice. Okay, good luck, man. You're going to kill it out there. Um, yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, I almost boy. wanted to start asking I.I. Catman, who lives in a pineapple under the yep. sea. A little patchy the pirate. A little patchy the pirate action, but... <laughs> Harley is one of a kind, I can say that. That was a pretty unique intro, fighting and fucking, I guess. He is one of a kind, and I, I, I don't know how we even follow that. You know what? Let's let the man with the stogie path trailblaze that path on his way to the ring. There we go. of him walking up to stage. He didn't even shake or touch anyone's hand. That was very alarming. The people reached out to Harvey yeah. to embrace this man. He is a trailblazer. Been doing it since yeah. 2001. And he 
may be dressed like a pirate, but tonight he's coming to steal a victory in this boxing ring. small ring you know what this big yeah. this is a moment guys we need to take in our co-main event yes. we've, been, we've had big fight after big fight amazing performances but i don't know this moment with harley coming in and just this crowd erupting to one of their favorites from years past to now and aaron from game grumps both are crowd favorites legends in this game this is one we may never see again take this one in Yes. Because these two are superstars in this scene. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your co-main event of the evening. Five two-minute rounds in the heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He stands six foot tall and weighs 214 pounds. From West Palm Beach, Florida. He's an internet personality, voice actor, and animator. Well known for his internet animations, as well as being the co-founder and co-star of the popular YouTube series, Game Grumps. Introducing And his opponent, fighting in the blue corner. He stands six feet five inches tall and weighs 276.8 pounds from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. He's a Canadian actor, internet personality, and vlogger. He co-created, produced, and hosts the show Epic Meal Time and its FYI television series, Epic Meal Empire. He is the sauce boss. Well, as I'm telling you, this arena is heating up as we move toward our main event, but what do we expect here? Well, I'll tell you, he wasn't lying. Those nipples are small. <laughs> that is a big boy. It's alarmingly small, yes. But, Sensei, what is Aaron going to have to do here with this massive size down? He doesn't have a lot of room to do it, but he's going to have to move. We are in a smaller ring, which bodes well if you are waiting to see heavyweights go at it. Folks. And with all that weight, I want to see how he how he handles that in the fatigue. Again, five rounds. Here we go. Heavyweight matchup. Oh, I like the footwork from Look Harley. Look at Harley. So Good stance. Nice double jab. Ooh, oh, Harley's go. unloading oh, here a bit to start. He Harley underneath him. uppercut. Yep. And he backs off. He doesn't go crazy he there. He survives the first exchange. And look at Aaron trying to pace forward here. Harley popping the jab out. Aaron looking to the body, a and Harley body clinches. You gotta clinch here. Look at this. Very smart move from Harley. Just get back to range. Looking to use some feints here as Harley looks to land the jab, slips underneath. Yep. Nice left hand to the body from Aaron. They're a little close, they're a little close. Hard to land stuff when these big bodies are that close together. But again, that may benefit Aaron a little bit. Maybe hard for Harley to land a clean shot. Getting inside of the range of the bigger man is Aaron trying to find that happy place. Big right oh, hand from big Harley. Right hand. Oh, that's gotta be heavy. Keep your hands up. And again, you see a patient Harley here though. Doesn't swarm, doesn't lose his cool, stays behind his jab, but Aaron trying to pull his way in again. And he's trying to duck and turn his head so he can find a way inside. Stay quick. Here, stay quick, stay quick. Big jab. Yes. Oh, looking to wrap around that right yeah, hand. They were just arms and Throwing right hands right some there. Some do-si-do right hands back to back. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really enjoying the fainting here from Harley. Yeah, I know. Aaron also. They keep uh, hooking that front hand. I know. Uppercut. Nice jab, Harley again. I big like jab. The footwork from Harley. Yeah, on balance. Never overextending. Ooh, big look at that cheeky big overreaction. Look at that cheeky uppercut with the lead. Behind the head goes the shot from Aaron. Referee warns once again. Again. Sometimes that happens, they get tangled up. It's not that Aaron's trying to throw that shot back there, it just happens. Nice right hand from Harley. And what I'm seeing here, since a good round from both fighters, what yes. I'm seeing from Aaron, he's having trouble with, is once the exchange starts, drops that head and just kind of tries yeah, to definitely. find his way in, while Harley ties up. 
staying behind the jab, circling out. Yeah, I think it's a little bit of fear from Aaron, honestly. With that 50-pound-ish weight differential, I think it's just enough to rattle him a bit and throw him off. Definitely. I mean, Harley's punches are like grand pianos coming at you. We'll see the shot here. Big time shot, hooking. and then behind the head there from Looks like they Aaron. both traded shots behind the yeah, head. Yeah, again, when you They're get caught with that. that lead hand, it's a little tough because you then swing your momentum around. Now, we haven't talked about this, but Harley's got a, a beautiful man beard. Yeah, I, I can't grow a beard, so I don't know. Does it, does Not, it, I mean, Charlie, you might be able Charlie to speak more to this. His but beard is significantly is better than mine. Is that beard going to cushion some of these shots? Oh, it's got to. It's got to. It's got to play a factor. Yeah, think so. like diffuse it around or something, maybe? And again, Aaron doesn't have that advantage. He's got a nice beard, but not necessarily as full as we go into round two, fellas. Sensei, what are we looking for? Yeah. Oh, oh, right, right off the rip. Another, Another right, right hand, hand from landed. Harley. But Aaron is game. He's taking the shot. I just wanted to see how he's going to take those shots. He's but again, oh, oh, big, big uppercut. uppercut off the back oh, he's foot from Harley. Leg now, wobbly leg now. We're seeing some skill here from the big man. Yeah, finding the, finding the shots. The feints. The feints coming in. He's playing the game. Pull back right hand behind. Slides out, we reset here, just over a minute. And then he threw the overhand, landed it, and he saw him, Aaron, land it, cover up, and he found the uppercut. Oh, right Ooh. hand, hard oh. Harley And Aaron shake shakes his head, he says, ah, I don't want any more of those. Harley stays patient. I like how Harley's fainting, he's looking for the pick shots, he's looking to set some traps. And again, we get a oh, bit of a clinch. hook in the head, you gotta be careful with that. Yep, the referee warns him about it. Little Logan Paul esque there. A little bit of Logan Paul esque <laughs> hook and uppercut. The last KSI, how that one feels. Yes. It is tough though when someone's ducking. It, it, it comes back. Oh, Ooh, big. Right hand from Harley. And again, you're seeing Aaron try to try to pull his way in, but he's oh, caught. Big right man. hand. Now Harley swarming. Uppercut Harley. Oh, Two, three, That's four tough. shots in a row. Harley unanswered. Aaron's trying to cover up. Referee's oh. taking a look. He's taking a He's look. He's taking a look. Yep. And that's it. That's it. That is oh it. Oh, my God. Wow. Yeah, he Harley just went loose. From epic meal time. Let's just say he didn't leave anything on the table. Nope. Clean his plate. Feed the man more. Yes. Feed him more. Wow. And again, guys, another stoppage on this card. Another one. Tough challenge for Aaron to try to overcome that. And especially Harley being so technical made it even tougher. Oh, look, look at that, that combination. Great. Big right hand, and another, and another, and the uppercut. And it was just too oh. much. It was too much at that point. Harley is just scoring with these shots. But again, when you're 276 ah. and you're scoring, yeah. it's a different weight behind that punch. Oh, One you've minute. seen another angle of that. Such heavy shots falling into him. One and a half minutes into round two, we get our TKO stoppage. And again, you said it, Sensei. Did anyone expect to see a technical Harley, a patient Harley, finding ways in off his jab, alleviating that pressure, framing yes. coming back? I said this at the beginning of the fight. We may not see it again. I want to see Harley again. 100%. I want to see him in another heavyweight that went at it tonight. Maybe a DJ Welsh oh, and yes. Harley matchup coming up. That would be a pretty big uh, height mismatch. Yes. Maybe, you know, DJ we've, seen, we've seen worse, but yes, we have. the heavyweight, the heavyweight winner of tonight's match, Harley. The referee has stopped the match with one minute and 26 seconds remaining in round two. Your winner by TKO, the Sauce Boss, Harley Marnstein! Harley, the Sauce Boss, the big boss, could you put into words what is going through your mind right now? Strong guy. Very strong guy. I'm taller. I'm way heavier. I knew about this event far before he did. So I want everyone here to know that I don't think any one of you would have stepped in the ring with someone who is bigger 
and stronger and has been training longer. But this guy did it. So no matter what, that's a fucking winner right there. I want to say another thing. This wasn't about me. This is for a good cause. That's why I did it. However, I only used about 20% of my abilities. I would like to exercise the remaining 80%. I want to fight someone bigger. I want them to know what's going down. The doc, I'm talking to you. I'm six foot six. You think you're tall? You think you're the two time? This ain't a game, boy. And let me tell you something. That bulletproof vest you wear ain't gonna stop these guns. Think about that. Congratulations, Harley. Let's give it up. Um, that might have been the best promo I've ever heard after Incredible. a fight. And he didn't call out just anyone, Charlie. He called out Dr. Disrespect. That's right. For those that don't know, Dr. Disrespect, the two-time, he's kind of a freakish athlete. He's six foot eight. I think he's also 270, so right in Harley's ball. Wow. Point. That would be a really interesting fight if Dr. Disrespect accepts that. Giants. Yep. Love it. And I'm telling you something, Harvey looks good. If there's anybody to take on the two-time, anybody to enter the Champions Club and come out a victor, or at least give some competition, epic mealtime zone, Harley is the man to do it. Wow. And what? Think about how much more training he's going to have, too. Yes. A lot more and to have a fight underneath the, under his belt. Yep. I, I can't tell you enough how shocked I am by his ability, not just the, the, the big mass, the ability for him to stay on balance. Yes. To land big shots. And, and fair play, by the way, we need to say this as well. Fair play to Aaron for stepping in. Like Harley said, that was a very a, an honest motion he made to him. Fair play to Aaron for getting in there. Wow. And then we had, guys, the start of the night. It started off like a firecracker. Dad said, you thought you had this? Matt Watson, I don't think so. Have this and one of those oh, right man. hooks to the face as well. Every fight, someone's going for the finish. Yep. No fight disappointed. No disappointments tonight. It, this might have been Incredible. the most back and forth, brutal war I have seen in the creator boxing space. I Alex Ernst so. and this Ryan was, McGee. All five rounds were just back and forth of just absolute Yo, one sport. Power punches. Big run. line shots. And again, this has been a night of fantastic finishes. All out, back and forth. Every creator on this card giving every single one. You know what? I'm going to retract my statement about DJ Wells. I want to see DJ fight. Yes. Put Harley in that display. The two time, that makes sense. But DJ needs to be on another card. Yes, I mean, he look does. at the shots. Power that guy has. Big time shots. And again, an impressive finish. These guys came to fight and box. They trained their tails off for this moment, and it started to pay off. And again, we talked about it earlier, guys. Boom. Alex, I did a thing. Probably one of the hardest punches land tonight, that one right there. The swing with the hook into momentum from the right hand. And like I said, he did a big thing tonight. Alex put his name on the map in this scene. And right after that fight, guys, we had oh my a barn goodness. burner. Yes. Just a mink smiling as she's taking jabs and right hands. Yodeling Haley would not oh, be denied right coming up. forward. The only thing to stop Yodeling Haley in this fight was the referee. If she didn't stop that, correct. she's going to continue coming. I would have kept going all night. I've been thinking about that. Like this one, I wanted to see going a little bit further. I, I think Harley could have turned it a little but more. But here's the thing. Minx continues to show that Irish last kicker yes. mentality <laughs> and the fighting spirit. What a win for her. And right after that, we had Hundar taking on AB from H3's podcast. and. Listen, AB came out ready to take on a big challenge, coming up in weight and knock the big man that down. That knockdown surprised me. But what about this? The Fortitude, the God of War himself. I think we can coin the nickname at this point. Hundar pulls out a TKO stoppage victory and basks in his stop own Stop it after stop it after stop it. And we thought we were impressed with that <laughs> oh, one. That yes. is. Michael Reeves, all 121 pounds behind those right hands. And Graham Stephan said, you know, I probably need to invest more time <laughs> in my real estate, Seriously. in my financial guru-ness, because I, these hands are not made for this. 
Michael Reeves with a big time. Straight demon big mode. Time big right hands. And just visceral. Visceral. And guys, the heavies went at it. Again, fair play to Aaron. Stepping in, a guy was 50 pounds bigger. Look at that uppercut. Look at that uppercut. Beautiful. Picking his shots as well, not just bullying him. Exactly. Looking for fainting. It was setting up some stuff. It wasn't just swinging for the bleachers from Harley. It was a technical showing. And again, I need to see him in that ring once again. I have to see it. I feel like he was being honest. He was only using 20%. He wasn't cranking him way back. Yeah. He wasn't going crazy. Sure. They were just calculated point blows. And look at these stoppages, folks, at home. TKO. <laughs> Decision. TKO. 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 Oh, my goodness. Finish after finish. TKO. And then again, TKO. Only TKO. one decision tonight. Only yep. one. Out of a eight fights so far, card, seven of the eight TKOs. But, folks, let me tell you something. We have one more fight, and it is the main event for a reason. The two men in the main event are the main reason. Greater Clash is going on, I-Dubs versus Dr. Mike. But before we get to that main event, folks, I want to one more time let you know that support for Greater Clash is brought to you by Fancy.com, a spicy social media platform that allows you to message and see more of your favorite content creators. Sign up at Fansly.com today instantly using your Twitch, Twitter, or Google account. Thank you to Fansly for sponsoring Creator Flash. Fellas, it's time. It is time. We are here. The moment we've been waiting for, I-Dubs, Dr. Mike, Charlie, take me through this tale of the tape. So you can see just from the stat line, the numbers are pretty even. There's no big glaring discrepancies here. But I will say, Dr. Mike is wearing a very different 188 pounds to Ian. He's been training, I think, 10 years in boxing. Ian's new to it. But I think Ian brings something special to combat sports. I think he brings an absolute disregard for his safety. Yes. I think he just comes out here, goes hog wild. Now, Sensei, you've seen both of these guys. Yes. You saw him in the lead-up. You saw him in the presser. Ian had to come up and wait. Dr. Mike coming down. We're going to have a barn burn. And speaking of the doctor himself, he told Ian last night, I'm here to prescribe these hands, and he's looking to do so. I just saw him in the shuttle earlier today. There's a different look on the face of the doctor. That's not the good one. 100%. That's the bad doctor. Interested in boxing, folks are like, well, why don't you fight I dubs? And lo and behold, we're able to make it happen. A lot of people are asking, should a doctor be boxing? Is that a bad idea? When I dubs told me how serious he was about making this event respectful to boxing, that's what really connected us to make this event happen. I'm gonna say here right now, he beats any YouTube. Golly. I really can't underscore how hard I've been training for this. We're really showing up to fight. People on May 14th are gonna be pleasantly surprised to see the level of competitiveness that you'll see out of our card. Not only am I training uh, with my boxing trainer four times a week, I'm also doing cardio work, conditioning work, while maintaining my job, while doing everything else. But the reality is when you're training for something that has meaning to you, it's so much better than when you're just going to the gym. And to me, this is like a challenge. Like, I don't know what to expect, so I have to give it my all. We are here with Dr. Mike for the true king, the main event of all the boxing matches for tonight. Doctor, what's your diagnosis for tonight? The diagnosis is I'm about to prescribe these hands. Okay, okay, very good. The lights are shining bright. It's very, very intense. There's a lot of pressure out there. How do you feel going into it? Pressure? We prepared. I got my crew here. They told me what's what. I'm ready to go. All right, there's a lot of hype. There's been a lot of hype for this. IDubs has been trying to get something like this going for months and months before it finally actually happened. You stepped up to the plate. What was the, uh, what was the deciding factor? What really made you want to go for it? I've been boxing ever since I lost my mom in medical school. Mm. And when I started, I dreamt of an opportunity like this. So I got huge respect for I-Dubs, and that's precisely why I'm gonna knock him out. There you go, good luck tonight, Dr. Mike. We'll see you in the ring. Appreciate you, let's go. Turn your right. It doesn't get simpler than that, guys. Nope. It does not get simpler than that. The doctor's gonna prescribe those hands. His story getting into boxing is one that I think we can all relate to. 
how Definitely. he finishes this story tonight is up to him and the other man in our main event. What are you seeing out of Doc as he's about to make this walk, Sensei? Super focused. You know, he looks like a main event fighter. He's locked in, taking it super serious. Like I said, gentlemen, a moment in time. Remember where you were when Dr. Mike made the walk. Creator Clash is the only place you can find this sold out Ying Ling Center. And the main event is upon us. It's a bit of a different feel, man. This oh, is yeah. a man who's been here before. This is a man who knows what he's doing. And you can see the difference in Dr. Mike right now, switched on. This isn't, this isn't residency, Dr. Mike. This is boxer. This is intense. Feel this moment. But there is one other man. One other man is about to step in that ring, folks. And it is the man that used to be your content police. But now <laughs> yeah. he's looking to slap those hands on Dr. Mike. Idubs is here, and he's looking ready to go. Dr. Mike, whoever he goes up against, he's probably gonna kick that dude's ass. You know he's facing me, yeah. So you say he's just handsome. You don't think he's a good fighter because he made a video saying he's been boxing for 10 years. Yeah, he's just handsome. I Dubs is taking it serious. How much did you weigh in July? Because you seem to have put on a significant amount of weight. I don't know if it's the mustache. You're gonna mess that pretty face of his up, dude. And I'll put Ian against any YouTube boxer. I wasn't training Ian for fitness. I was training Ian to fight somebody. I am completely new to like the dynamic of you have people telling you what to do, shouting uh, your opponent's coach, shouting at them. If you haven't been in a situation, it's like impossible to describe the feeling, but it's intense. He didn't realize how much he knows and how much he can use. There you go, all day. By the end of the sparring session, I was telling Ian to take it easy on the other yeah. guy. I have been training hard, so I don't anticipate losing to Dr. Mike. I'm trying to set the, the stage for you guys that this is going to be a good fight. Ladies and gentlemen, we are finally here with iDubs. Everybody is very, very excited to see this. The man who, along with Anissa, put on this incredible event. So let, can we get a round of applause just for this incredible event so far already? iDubs, how do you feel? Uh, I feel like I'm dripping right now in sweat and in swag. Yeah, you're, I mean, look at, dude, we're matching. Look at us. Look, that's because we got style. Love it, yes, yeah. yes. You know who doesn't have style? Dr. Mike. Yeah, that's right, Dr. Mike, you ain't got no, not like us, not like us. So, look, you, you completely changed your body in the last year. I mean, I, I, like, if, if, you, if you take a look at what, what IDubs used to look like about a year ago, you look skinny, frail, but now you're like, I mean, you're giga chat now. Yeah, I'd rip old items apart. I'd tear them to pieces. Yeah, it'd be bad. And then you'd have to send them to Dr. Mike to get them repaired. Yeah, yeah, I'd do that. You might have to, you might have to do that to him tonight, to himself. Yeah, I'll do that too. Well, there you go. Everybody's very, very excited, Ian. This is going to be a hell of a match. It's been a hell of an event. And you're going to go out there and kick some ass. Hell yeah. Thank you. There you go. Good luck, man. Folks, you heard the man. He told us. He's feeling good. He came through dripping, not just in sweat, but oozing confidence, Sensei. Yes. What are you seeing in the eyes of Ido? There's a stoicness about him that I feel like 
I'm going to be surprised. Even though I feel like he's going to be good, I feel like he's another gear that we haven't seen. Charlie, describe this moment as IDubs is about to come out. IDubs has said since the very beginning he's taking it serious, and I really think that he did. I've seen a little bit of his training. It seems like he's going completely all in on boxing, and I'm excited to see the results of all of his hard work. Folks, as he makes his way into the ring, reality has just set in in the creator clash. Dr. Mike takes a good, close look oh, yeah. at I-Dubs as he staggers across, giving the run in the ropes. And Dr. Mike is eyeing him down. I-Dubs seems unbothered. This moment is here. Let's toss it to Akinola with our national anthem for the main event. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and remove your hats for the singing of our national anthem. Give it up for Airsoft Fatty.
ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. We want to remind everybody, no flash photography. Tonight's bouts were sanctioned by the Florida Athletic Commission. Chair, Dr. Mark Williams. Vice Chair, Mrs. Tina Pike. Commissioners, Dr. Anup Patel, Mr. Tobias Roche, Mr. Jeremy Waby. Executive Director, Patrick Cunningham. And Assistant Executive Director, Tip Tip Timothy Shipman. Attending physicians on site today, Denise Griffin and Adrian Cockno. Jumpers at ringside, Shami Shipman, Tito Wilgo, Efren LeBron, Michael Ross, and Braddon Jackson. Tonight's referees, Michael DeJesus, Christopher Young, and Andrew Glenn. The following contest is four three-minute rounds in the cruiserweight division. Introducing first, fighting in the red corner. He is the original keyboard warrior. He's most well known for his comedy video series such as Kickstarter Craft, Content Cop, and the Save the Squirrels Initiative. Since taking up boxing, he's gained respect for the sport, and now he has the skills to battle online and in person. He is the Skull Crutcher! And his opponent, fighting in the blue corner. He stands six feet three inches tall and weighs 188.4 pounds from New York City. He's a multifaceted, board certified family medicine physician, media personality, educator, writer, and philanthropist. His Instagram account went viral after BuzzFeed and people named him the 2015 Sexiest Doctor Alive. Ladies and gentlemen, he's here to prescribe KO. For everybody here in attendance, watching here at the sold-out Yingling Arena in Tampa, Florida, and to everybody watching around the world, this match is about to explode! Fellas, have you ever felt a moment like that? No. I don't know if I have in my life. I don't know if I've ever felt a moment like that in my life. Guys, Different circumstances here. Four rounds, three minutes, yes. 12 ounce here gloves. Go. Here we Let's go. Here we go. Dr. And Mike we're right is away going. Oh God. Big right hand. Dr. Mike, Mike is swinging yeah. to put him to bed. Dr. Beautiful Mike is going to be dangerous early. There's that overhand that we were, we were wondering about, we were talking about. about. Big left hand again. Nice jab, Dr. Mike. Staying poised. Ian trying to keep him off with the jab. Coming off the front. Oh, nice it. jab, I don't. My Dugs has a slickness about him. Oh. He has a slickness oh. about him. And he plays a little bit with the yes. hand game. Look how he keeps his weight back. And fires off Hide the right hand. He's hiding his chin. Nice jab, Dr. Mike. Big, big right hand. Right hand. Across the head. And again, folks, we're in 12 ounce gloves. That is right. That's one of those lands. Good night. Nice double jab right hand from Ian. I Dugs coming forward. I feel like Dr. Mike is going to be dangerous early. I feel like as the fight goes on, it might lean towards I Dugs. Again, feeling out process from both guys. Idub's trying to take the front feet here. Mike not letting him. Big right hand. Oh, good combo. Nice, nice combo to the body there from Ian. Now Mike takes the lead. Oh, big, big right, right hand. hand over the top. Idub's comes forward with a blitz to no avail. Oh, nice jab right hand behind that, though. Nice combo. Oh, right hand from Mike. Trying to bury it. It's a little bit behind the ear. He's catching him a little bit on the, in the inside of the glove yep. as well. Not quite turning that shot over. Correct. Idubs definitely felt it. Oh, yeah, that's why he clinched. Oh, you can already Mike see it on Mike's face. Oh, with that right, right hand. Right, big right hand. Huge right hand from Dr. Mike, but Ian still waits forward. Coming forward. Got to be careful, though, because Mike that's has correct. lightning in those hands right now. Big right oh, hand, big Dr. right Mike. hand. Idubs trying to stay in there. He's hurt. He's hurt. Oh, he's, he's coming forward. Dr. Mike's looking for that right hand. I know, he's he staying patient. Oh, there it is right. again. He went for the clinch. Folks, we have a minute left in this round. It's not a, it's not a two minute round. I, I thought we were going for three. I guess we're going for two. That's right, we still had. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I was fairly certain we were going for three, but uh, I think we're gonna have to adjust here. 
two. That was only two. Yeah, we're gonna have to adjust here, folks, on the fly. It looks like we're gonna be going two minute rounds from here on out. But look at wow. that right hand, guys. On the button. And you're seeing a different explosiveness so far, right? Absolutely. But I'm still very impressed with Ian's ability not only to take a good strike, but he's delivered some of his own. You can see it on Mike's face. He's already got a little bit of swelling on his right eye. Face sensor. Yes. When you see a big right hand, the, the, the electricity behind it from, from Dr. Mike. But not only that, Idub's ability to get out of the way, it's going to have to show up here in round number two. Yeah, Ian was frustrated and he started to come forward. He has to be technical. Dr. Mike is dangerous early. Very dangerous the early. The speed, the power Correct. of Dr. Mike is definitely showing. He comes oh. out right away. A little bit of a cheeky yeah, that was shot a off cheeky. the glove touch. I, I, I don't. Oh, it was a little rough. Not there. a big fan of stuff like that, but again, Dr. Mike, maybe just in the moment. I, it, it is tough. It is he just tough. got excited. I think yeah. he was excited. Just I don't think he meant moment. anything bad by it. But again, when you put a guy oh. down like that, you get a little over aggressive, and here comes I Dumps. I Dr. think Idubs has to do that. He has to yes. duck under that right hand. Oh, big right hand, Dr. He has to Mike, get once again. That right and he's hand. landing it flush. But Ian's wearing it well, and he's coming back here. The power factor is showing here from Dr. Mike. And Dr. Mike looks to start to he's stop. Walking him down. He's walking him, him down it. a little bit. A little faint there from Dr. Mike. Idubs moving away from the power hand. That's what he's got to do. He's got to move. On the ropes, big clubbing right hand behind that. You can tell the power difference. Difference in the, the two big shots. Here. Because Ian's landed a nice right hand this round as well. Now Ian slides around the outside. Idub's just trying to find his way past the big power of Dr. Mike right now. Ian's got to get under that big right hand. Right He's got to get Dr. under Mike. it. Uppercut is there. The dubs comes okay, back. He's fighting back out of the corner. Idub's to the body. These are landing shots right here. Those are scoring blows. Big right Ooh, hand. Big Dr. Right Mike hand again, again behind the jab. And it's just clockwork right now. Jab right hand, jab right hand. Yeah, Ian's got to find a jab, and he's got to get underneath. Right hand, nice right hand. Dubs. But it's like when he lands, Dr. Mike just comes forward past yeah, it. Big difference. But again, one of those lands. That was a clean shot. And we could absolutely start to see a change oh, in this fight. Oh, another right hand. And Dr. Mike, when he is throwing, and he's being patient, but when he's throwing that right hand, oh, left hand, left hand. It, it's that landing it well. That hurt Ian. That hurt yeah, Ian. That was a hammer. Right now, Idubs is in this phase now where he is swinging. But the defense is not there. The legs are starting the to go. Trading, they're move, trading. They're trading right hand. Oh, another right trade hand. with Dr. Mike. Big right hand. And here comes Idubs back. And he's wobbly. No quick. Right, right hand, oh, Dr. Mike. Right. right hand. And the round. That was the end of the round. Saves. Wow. Oh, my God. Idubs was in trouble, guys. That yes, bell could is. not have come at a better time for Idubs. And look, as we take a look here. Guys, we're seeing a massive, and we talked about it, we're seeing a massive power difference. Yeah, it's not just that Idubs isn't landing, because he is, and he's working the body, and he's trying to do things to find a way inside of that big power. But when Mike lands, it is absolutely devastating. Yeah, I knew Mike is going to be dangerous early. And those are the first two rounds. You know, Ian, he's taking some big shots. He's wobbly. He's got to be able to recover from this. He can really use his footwork and use some of that slickness, because we're taking a look in both corners. Both men definitely feeling this moment. It's going to be interesting to see. Now we're in the back half of this fight. Does anything change here for yes. Dr. Mike? Because he's been patient, but he's throwing big power. That right, that right hook landed. You can tell it's really affecting Ian. All right. Here we go. We're trying to get Mike's team out of the ring. There's the bell. Round number yeah, three. He was ready for yeah, that yeah, tap yeah. that quick, time. Quick adjustment, guys. I think we might have might have added a fifth round. That's to what this, I figured. That's fight. what I figured. So, so we're going five twos, just like our undercard on the fly. But we rock with it, just like that big right, right hand right rocks. Got to get underneath I that. Dubs, but Idubs comes back. Yes. And this is what we're seeing. Oh, oh right sharp. That was quick. Oh, but boy. Again, Beautiful Ian right hand. Game. He is. And he's taking these shots. And yes, they're devastating. And yes, you can't take too many more of them. But the heart he is showing and his ability to fire back to the body. Upstairs to the right, body. Those upstairs. Are some, those are some big shots. Big shots. Ian. Dr. Mike is clinching. Referee separates big, deep breath from Idubs, but he comes back strong. Jab Dr. right Mike hand. Doing a good job on the that gloves. Hand up. He's on the gloves. That hand up. That makes a big guard. Ooh, the big right hand. Lance, Lance right over the shoulder. Big oh, right hand from nice right Idubs. That one lands flush. But Dr. Mike continues to come forward. And again, Idubs finding his way into range. Now Dr. Mike stalking forward on the front foot. Jab, 
Right hand behind it, jab Dr. right Mike's hand. Mike's looking to come back. He's got to land that's on his own. And the clinch. Who wants this fight more? That's right. Who wants it more? We're going to find out right here as they hit the ropes right in front of us. 30 seconds left, round three. Both Ooh, men putting right it on hand display. Landed. Right hand, Dr. Mike. Ian's got to lift that left hand up. That hand is dropping. He's eating that. That again, another that, one. It's slipping right in there around the glove. Oh, big right hand to the body. Dr. Mike, slick little jab off the right hand. Clubs Ian again. Ian's on wobbly legs here. Yeah. Yeah. They're starting Last to give out. Last 10 seconds. Last 10 seconds. No, no, he, he slipped. Oh, he, he thought there was an end of the bell. Big right ah, hand. You can Dr. hear that Mike. right hand landed. That landed above the ear. Another one. Another, another one. one. And there is the end of the round. That's right. Gentlemen, we're three rounds in. How's this fight looking to you, Sensei? Man, Dr. Mike is just landing that right hand at will. That right hook is coming around the glove, around the guard of Ian. And Ian's having his moments, but the power shots, clearly more damage is being landed by Dr. Mike. I will say, I think Ian's performing a lot better than a lot of people expected from him. This is decent fundamental boxing from Ian here. He's landed some nice shots of his own. He even had a minute there where I thought he was going to knock Dr. Mike down. And let's talk about the right hand lands flush there from Dr. Mike. But let's talk about that chin on IDubs. Again, yep. coming up 30 pounds to meet this man. Yes. Let's take a look at our stats so far. You can only Again, take so much of those, though. The volume, though, from IDubs. 60 punches thrown. Yeah, we're not landing quite yet, but again, we're in the championship rounds of this fight. That's right. This is where we may see a little bit more of who wants this five rounds. Here is round number four. And Dr. Mike is doing a good job of keeping his guard tight. Big so a lot of the, the oh, that was guard. a big combination. But again, Idubs comes back. He's working primarily the body. I, I, I want to see if Idubs is setting this up to come upstairs with a big shot. Oh, he, right he, there. he went for it. He went right for there it. it was. He's looking for that right overhand. Oh, oh big oh. stinging right hand from Dr. Mike. He got punished for that. And we clinch. Dr. Ooh. Mike shoves him off big right hand off the clinch. And Idubs again flurries into range. Dr. Mike slides away and we reset the action. Big shots to the body. He's trying to Big, work on that gas tank, but we're on wobbly legs. Yep. Right hand on the pipe from Dr. Mike. Head movement. That? Now he's getting under. Now we're seeing some head movement. Yes. Did Idubs find something here? The head movement is starting to come out. Nice Dr. body shot again. Clean shot. Dr. Mike's looking, clean for that right. he's looking for that right. And these aren't effort shots. These nope. are just on balance, big time shots. From the doctor. That right hook. Hand clubbing. He's got to get underneath that. He's got to roll on it. Right hand from Ian coming forward. Off the gloves, though. See Dr. Mike is in that tight guard. see the difference. That tight guard Ian is big. lunging into range. Dr. Mike balanced, stalking, stoic, coming forward. I will say, Dr. Mike is squaring up a bit to him here. Yes. But he is holding those that guard high and right catching hook. those shots on the glove. Big oh, left hook to right hand. hand. Another one. And Idubs fires back. How is this guy on oh, stable Jack. legs? How is Idubs on stable legs after taking some of these shots? He just keeps eating them and then somehow finds some kind of response to buy himself a little bit. Big power. right hand, Idubs. Dr. Mike answers back. Dr. Mike still got power in his shots right yes. now. Even though the fatigue there, he's still got power on his shots. Big right hand down the pipe. Oh, he's Another one home for those. Around that the right, guard. Again, that right hand, that right hook. Dr. Mike again. walking him all over the ring, just landing, and there again. Wow. At the end of the round, Dr. Mike, they think they think four. They think four, but we got one more. We have one more. That's got to be tough as a fighter. I know. You think you know that's tough? Mentally. I know. We, we are seeing, again, full heart on display from both fighters. It's a continuous theme we keep running into here with Dr. Mike. The power is there. Yes. The explosivity is carrying into the later rounds. And, and Idubs is finding ways to now use a little bit of that head movement, come into range, work the body, but is it going to be enough? He has one yeah. round left. I think he needs a stoppage. Yeah, I know, because it's how are the judges scoring it, right? Because the volume there was that last round was Ian, even though um, Dr. Mike did land the heavier shots, I feel like Idubs did land more. Absolutely, to the body, Second combinations, down. volume, volume, volume. Charlie. Last word, going into this final round, what are you looking for? I'm looking for Ian to actually just go all in. I think whatever's left in the tank is going to come out here right away. Here we go, folks. The last round in your main event of Creator Clash. We got ourselves a close one. I'm telling you, this fight 
is just like the rest of the card, entertaining, an absolute Great slobber move. knocker. And I'm telling you, this fifth and final round might decide it, folks. Now, Dr. Mike just throws bricks at him. Right hand to the body, stones from Dr. Mike on the return, he right does. hand from Idubs. Is the fatigue and he's slowing back down there. a bit. Right. Dr. Mike is slowing down the tad bit. This is Ian's opportunity. But I don't know if Ian has anything left I in the know. tank. He's given it his all for all four rounds up until this point. And taking a lot of damage. And a lot of damage on those entries. Oh. And another one behind him. A big jab and another, another one for Dr. Mike. A right hook. Got to get under hook, it. Right hand, Dr. Mike. Big hooks. Oh, right hand right up hand top. Ended. We are back in fourth action. I dubs Dr. Mike. Another, right hand another on the road. Jab. Oh, Last minute of the fight. Who's going to leave it all out there? Who's going to come away with this victory? Idubs comes forward combinations. These guys are leaving it out there. Right hand, Dr. Another Mike right lands. Hand landed. Another one. Idubs works the body. Oh, he's just fighting through it so is much all fatigue. Out war right now. Big Whoa. right hand on the break from Dr. Mike, and it lands. Another one behind it. 20 seconds left. Oh. One, two from Dubs. That landed. And it's that final to beat. We got, we got what, 20 seconds now? 19 seconds. They're imploring Idubs, yeah. go forward. You gotta go for it. You landed something. You have to Ian, push through it right forward. now. Dr. Mike trying to hold on here. Ian trying to hold on as well. Who the is going to take this? Second. The biggest one of Ian's All fight. out to the bell. Both men. Oh. There is the fight. Incredible. Wow. Wow. Oh, my God. Unbelievable stuff right there at the end of the fight. Idubs gets carried across the ring. A warrior in his own right. But Incredible. Dr. Mike as well. What a performance. Wow. The ability to stand up through all of that for me is beyond I impressive. mean, he took some shots. He a took lot of shots. Some shots. A lot of body Mike. punches were landed. I don't it's watch it as you think, you know. I know, with the, with the big shots from Dr. Correct. Mike, your, your eyes and your, your reactions you see from Ian when he gets hit, your, right. your head immediately thinks, okay, Dr. Mike did enough. But the no volume. Knockdowns, no knockdowns no landed. No knockdowns. That's true. The no volume knockdowns. from Ian, and we'll take a look right here. You can see, even if these aren't, and a beautiful right hand there from Dr. Mike, but look at the combinations that Ian fires back with. And again, another nice hook, and Ian gets one there at the end, but it's gonna be closer than I think. Yes. Sometimes our eyes let us see with just these big reactions from shots, because boxing is the sweet science. You do account for the volume. Correct. You do account for round by round scoring. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I think regardless of the outcome here, both did amazing. I'm extremely impressed with Ian. It's clear he put a lot of time into it, and he gave a show, just like Absolutely. he promised. Absolutely, and, and you have to give it up to Dr. Mike, cutting the weight, staying as a practicing doctor, yep. being able to continue I know, to make balance content, all of that. And work training as, as he did. Both respect to both fighters, massive respect. And now, all we await, gentlemen, is our winner. Ladies and gentlemen, that match went the distance. Incredible fight bar, two fighters right here. The judges have scored the main event as follows. Brian Jackson scores 50 to 45. Michael Ross scores 50 to 45. And Tito Wilgo scores 49-46. To the winner, by unanimous decision, Dr. Folks, the man came in, he gave it everything he had, and Chills is with our winner on the night, Dr. Mike. I just want to start off by saying just a tremendous amount of respect to you, Ian, and your wife, Anissa, for putting this together. Can you tell me what is going through your mind right now? Uh, yeah, I'm excited that it's over with. <laughs> Fair enough. Hey, Mike. Mike? 
Oh, anyways. <laughs> Mike, congrats on the victory, so. MD, medical doctor. Dio, Dio, Dio. Representing all my Dio's out there, what's up? So you're a Dio, very successful YouTuber, and now you just won your first boxing match. Tell me, what is next? You know, someone left a YouTube comment on my boxing video. I wish I remember the username, because I want to give credit. But that person said, Mike really trying to do all the side quests in life. And that's what I'm about, baby. Let's go. Well, congratulations, Mike. Good job, man. You want to do any more? Folks, there is your winner on the night, Dr. Mike. Uh, gentlemen, we just saw a classic. I'm preparing for this. Well, because I'm a practicing physician, I'm seeing patients, literally saving lives, teaching future doctors on how to be good doctors, still putting out a tremendous amount of content every single week with the help of my amazing team. So shout outs, Dan, Sam, Thomas, Steve, everybody who makes it happen. Keith, can't forget you, buddy. My family's here, my dad's here. I wanna say, Mom, I did this for you, Dad, I love you. Anything else you'd like to say to your opponent? Idubs is truly the man. I did not expect for him to put up a fight. He took a lot of damage, took it like a champ, kept coming forward. He put on a tremendous event for you guys. You all have a big round of applause. And folks, there you have it. Leave it up to a doctor to, re to revive this card and make it an absolute showstopper at the end. I mean, look, guys, as we take a look at this, it was devastating power yes. continuously throughout the five rounds. Yes, there was volume on Ian's side, but the punches that mattered, the, the story, punches that landed that's right. with heavy, heavy damage came from Dr. Mike. The story of that fight was just that right hand. Dr. Mike kept landing that right hand over and over again, and Ian just didn't have an answer for it. He couldn't, he couldn't figure out how to avoid it, and the power just was too much for him. And you know, Dr. Mike said something there, and as we see another big right hand from Ian, look at the face of Ian, a true warrior Idubs was in this fight. And he said something there that he wanted to do the, all the side quests in his life. I understand he's a doctor. I understand yes. he's practicing, but I know I'm not the only one that wants to see him again in this squared circle. Oh, I'm sure he'll be back. Uh, I think there's no doubt he'll be back. I'm telling you this, when a guy takes on a challenge to not only put on a boxing event as we see all of our finishes on the night, a stacked card. Stacked. Stacked with knockouts, stacked with action. When a guy like Idubs takes on a challenge of this magnitude, 10,000 people sold out in this arena, and then steps into the main event himself. That is the definition of putting your actions behind your words. You can't give any more credit to Idubs than to say he is the main reason we are here. Fair play to him. What an amazing event, guys. Amazing event. I think what's most impressive to me across the entire board, I think only two of these fighters have ever been punched before in their life. This was yes. their first time getting hit, and they did a great job. There was only one fight that ended really early, which was the dad, Matt Watson, but he came out right, there right, like an right. animal. And it was for good reason. Yeah. Yes. It was a man possessed, a dad possessed, yep. to come in and, and put on a show. And, and let's not forget that these were content creators that went for five minute rounds. But folks, there you have it. Creator Clash is in the books. This was, look, I mean, Look at what we're talking about, folks. Look at that. It's an absolute highlight reel across There's the board. There's so many takeaways, so many takeaways, so many new contenders, new names in the YouTube boxing scene. Absolutely. I can't wait to rewatch these fights again and again. I'm looking forward to watching these highlights again and again and to see where these names get, get put in the mix of the YouTube boxing scene. Folks at home, what more could you ask for? What more could you ask for than heavyweights, middleweights, junior middleweights, lightweights, our first female Yes. Boxing match in this the content had space. Everything. Had everything. No boring fights. No, no boring, boring moments. The walkouts, the entertainment, the personalities. It was amazing from top to bottom. Truly a night to remember. We all 
are grateful to be here. And like Sensei said, we have now seen names emerge from top to bottom of this card in our creator content space that I cannot wait to see again. We've had Irish last kickers. We've had gods of war. We've had doctors prescribing hands. We've had Harley, AKA Epic Meal Time, saying, you know, I kind of want to eat. I'm a big guy. Yes, call Let out Z yeah, today. Eat. Big call out. And the massive call out and a massive takeaway from this card. Harley calls out Dr. Disrespect. I would really like to see that happen. Hopefully, Dr. Disrespect won't just ignore it. Hopefully, he responds to it. Yes. And we see them get out we here We need again. to see that one. But as we saw, Michael Reeves absolutely take over the show in his fight as well. Sent Graham Stephan, who again came in, gave his best shot, but he sent him back to real estate agent work. And again, you see Harley just a big, stoic, confident fighter coming forward. I, I was truly impressed. Folks, we thank you so, so much for joining us here at Creator Clash. Again, a night to remember, one I will never forget, and I want to say a personal thank you to iDubs, to Anissa, to everyone that had myself on this card. Thank you very much. I am your host, The Wade Concept, AKA Wade Clements. I'm with Moist Critical. I'm with Face Sensei. Folks, it's been an honor and a pleasure for all of us. Honor and a pleasure, absolute honor. We will see you next time. Can't wait for the next one. Creator Clash 2, maybe? I guess we'll find out. Boost.